Being yourself. My family to yours. Thank you. Oh, love the sound of that music. Should be your alarm clock every Sunday. Welcome in the boys. What? On the screen, just next to me. Sexy gentleman in front of me, Enders. Tony. Pops are back. Oh. Fearsome foursome. Coming in week three of the NFL, baby. Huge, huge weekend. Just not for Ender's Jets, but we won't get into that. Not now, anyway. <laughs> it's it, not, not yet, but we will. We will. Oh, we will. so good to have everybody back in. Welcome out on Tuesday to Sportscast NFL Game Day show brought to you by Manscaped. Appreciate y'all being here today. Uh, we're going to get to all of the good stuff, NFL uh, power rankings, which you all love. I know you. It's the favorite part. Everyone, You know how many good messages I get, Pops, every single week since we've been doing this for 13 years about my power rankings? There's so many. I keep all the great articles. There's two of them. Shut up. You're so full of shit. Yeah, there's, there's, there's two of them. I have two articles. Two articles. So <laughs> I have two good articles in 13 years I've been able to clip. That's, oh. that's about it. That's about it. So <laughs> well, Let's uh, just keep pushing the envelope, though. Let's exactly. Yeah. Hey, hey, you never know. You just got to keep pushing along. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep pushing never along. Up. Never give in. Exactly. So <laughs> uh, we got to welcome a uh, special guest in today, my man, Enders. Enders, it's good to have you in, brother. The godfather of freaking marbles is in the house. MSLA CEO and creator is in. Man, it's good to have you in, dude. How you doing? Hey, I, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited when I mean, you invited me for this, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a, something a little different than I've done, but that chance to talk sports and specifically football and yeah. stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm game. Okay, so I'm you, game. Uh, I, don't get, I don't get to do that much. I like it. I like it. Again, we just saw your new, you got a brand new son, seven month old, so a brand new father as well. Yep. So you've got a lot of stuff going on. I mean, you're now full time with Marbles on Stream, so I mean, you got, you got your busy man. Um, and uh, how did you, have you been a football fan your whole life? Is this, is I it? have I have been a football fan since I can remember. Uh, okay, and, and I'll dive in real quick. The reason I'm a Jets yeah. fan, my dad was a Dolphins fan. <laughs> so I think should, I was like this should be good. <laughs> it, 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 he was I was like six or seven years old. They're playing a game and against each other in Miami, I think. And I got angry at my dad for some, and he's like tried to ground me. And I said, I "Hope the other team wins." And it was the Jets, and the Jets won. Yeah. Uh, so since then, I've been I've been a Jets fan. It's uh, you know. Through the good through the thick and, the bad and thin, right? And the bad through the and thick the and thin, right? And exactly. And every, everything. Ah, oh, the butt everything. fumble. God, it's so good. A lot more thin. We were talking about that. A lot more thin than thick. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, just say I, I am loyal. No one will ever call me a band, bandwagoner. Yeah, same with, with, with me will. with the Cowboys. I have ride and die with the Cowboys since I was five years old and watched Troy Aikman throw the football and wanted to basically be up and get Cowboys quarterback. That's where mine came from because you know growing up in california my dad's a rams fan you know pops is a rams fan because he grew up with them and mm -hmm. you know they moved out by the time i grew up with football and of course i'm not gonna be a raiders fan i mean who's gonna be a raiders fan right so it's like <laughs> <laughs> raiders fans are doing all right now they're just chomping at the bit in chat they're getting mad <laughs> i mean they, they're gonna i think they're gonna go three and oh after this weekend too but we'll get to that later um and, uh, yeah, so I just grew up watching the Cowboys as well. And it's like, I just fell in love with them. They were great at the time. It's like, yeah, that's the team that was on TV all the time. So I just fell in love with them. And, you know, just like you, I've been through some pretty bleak years. <laughs> 
Well, they went they won two in a row against the Bills back what early nineties. Yeah, early nineties. I'm saying I haven't had anything in my adult life that I that I've been able to really celebrate about, except for maybe a Tony Romo playoff win. But other than that, that's about it. Um, uh, he's, hey, he's doing pretty good in the booth now. Yeah, he, he is pretty I, good in the booth. I think he was a good quarterback. I, I'll be a Tony Romo supporter for the the day I die. I think that guy played his ass off, played hurt a lot of the times, and was the best. I, he'll just have that moment of not holding that field goal. If that field goal gets held, it's a different story right. for that guy's career and it's crazy how one play can dictate that <laughs> in a sports team's life oh butt fumble that's all i gotta say you you know what that is so right. it's the one play the sand chai. oh my it god takes one. <laughs> <laughs> right? it only takes one play to get remembered in any sport it really does and uh, or one miss as in the case of the bills kicker or anyone you know what i mean it takes one thing could ruin your career it's crazy how it goes like that um but uh, Enders, back to again. I want to get into a little because we never had Enders on before. I know you should hop into football, but I want to get some of the background on Enders here for everybody in chat. Again, Enders is the MSLA CEO, the creator of the freaking game that is taking over marbles right now. The event that has, I mean, the turnouts are bigger and bigger, Tony, and we're yes. seeing it every single week. I mean, we're seeing six to seven hundred now. Uh, wow. You know, when, twice now, right? Yeah, we, we've, twice. Done, wow. we've done seven hundred three times. Three that times, that's crazy. crazy. That seven hundred three, seven twenty seven, and seven eleven. I, I, you would think I know that. You, yeah, I remember. That. <laughs> yeah, I gotta play those numbers. Yeah, it's it's a lot of time. It's been insane. It's. Do you it's, think you started January, right? January. I think you're saying on Spoo Show, right? I think you're right. January eighth. January January 8th was the very first like official now you can win the MSLA marble type of thing we're keeping track of points and all that stuff but actually preseason began um about a year ago uh this month in September where I started to do some just little preseason races yeah. um gave out some trophies and that was it there was no in-game prize yet because you know we wanted to obviously make that special for the actual like seasons but we did some i think we did like 13 preseason races and those just kept growing and then teams got introduced and when teams got introduced that completely changed the msla totally Landscape. wide open yeah. like i never thought of the teams it was actually um shadow walker a bunch of others that were just racing that say hey we should do teams and then boom yeah. Now, now uh, last i checked for season three we have 94 different teams that is incredible and it so has to be to a, a minimum of six or i'm sorry a minimum of three or a maximum of six so and most teams are full uh it's 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 crazy we're now looking uh we got season four coming up yeah which again just blows my mind what has happened with it it's it's spawned me creating the new channel so right you know just just like you you know sportscast squad is is your thing but you're still josh yeah you, know, you you're you are separate so it's it was an, es an effort to separate the whole dark side godfather persona yeah, you had two different the, personality it's two different entities in itself yeah, ender's world I is different than msla and I'm still Enders, you know, obviously right. when I'm doing the, the MSLA stuff, but it's really changed a lot. And this was actually Pixel's, you know, recommendation to separate it because it, as, if it, as it keeps growing, I don't want it to be, you know, restricted. And, you know, you got this little guy who will take it <laughs> over one so day. so adorable. Seven <laughs> months old, little Padawan learner in training right there. Nice little dude. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, well, we always joke. We he's always joke because so I'm, I'm Sith. I'm Sith, I like Darth Vader, so he could be like Luke, he'll be the Jedi. Oh, you know? I love it. I, I was Bloody. telling you earlier, I know Mrs. Ender's there. All we need is a little Princess Leia to go with Luke right there, and we're good to go. Maybe one day. We, we are, maybe we are, one we are, day. We, that, that, that book is open. She's like, don't get ahead maybe of yourself. Day. Like, gosh. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. So, um, with, with the MSLA, um, how did you like how did the the idea spawn like i know you're a nascar fan i know you're into you're into driving nascar and everything and uh and where did like what was was there a key moment that you remember like dude this this is something or i could put this together like how did it come together in, in short so <laughs> your wife so your wife is just like my like on camera they right. don't care dude they don't, don't care shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it all uh, started because uh obviously you know working on this we're working on the game part of pixel by pixel studios you know at a part-time level for the longest time you know obviously i always got to see the new stuff and talk with pixel and right with mike and about the the different see stuff, the stuff behind the scenes yeah i'm not sure if a lot of people remember the original laps uh the you know this is like before tony's time uh yeah. the original laps was the amount of laps in this weird track that had an elevator that would go up and all this different stuff the amount of the laps counted down for every marble that went by oh, so i remember marbles... that track yes now it, it, yes. It was, that was a it long was, time ago damn and it was the first of its kind yeah. to the point where you know pixel created a whole new logic to keep track of to assign a number based on how many people are in the race type yeah. of stuff and so you you had that happen and then all of a sudden this new system this new laps track came out and or was coming out and you know pixel said what do you want to name it i'm like oh the paperclip you know because it looked a lot like martinsville which is right, like, right. the paperclip yes, and uh so the moment that came out i was like holy shit this is an opportunity to to do these long distance races to take my love of nascar and racing and put it in with my love of marbles yeah but of course i always had that doubt in my mind is who is gonna stick around for one race for two to three hours not right. not at the point you would think not many people so that's like well okay i'll throw in a trophy you know who doesn't yeah. like to get an actual nice you know some physical yeah, yeah. item that you can put on a shelf yeah. so i was a trophy and the first person that ever won one was miss waffles mm -hmm. a longtime member of the community yeah she's, she's been, been around, around since forever season yeah. of marbles so uh, yeah. we're talking 2018 and i bought a trophy online and nice. sent had it sent to her and I told Pixel about that. I told my wife about that. And I think simultaneously, he reached through the computer and she stood next to me and they both hit me upside the head because <laughs> of these two things I have actually running right now behind me. Oh, I have three, uh, three, three, yeah, printers, three printers. And yeah. Airman created these amazing trophies. Airman designed the trophies. So it was just coming together. And I bounced a lot of ideas off of, you know, members of the community, um, Pixel himself, you know, Spoo, Basscast, Shens, just a bunch in the community when I started to come up with this concept. And even though I work for the studio, I still per, I still put together a PDF. Like a, we're talking slideshow type stuff. And I gave it to Pixel and he yeah. said, give it, a, give it a try. I did it once and he said, okay, keep doing it. Like keep pushing it. Uh, you know, I, I like it. Let's get behind this. Let's right. go. And did you have the name at the time? Did you have MSLA at the time when you came over there? Is that something that was created I later? I originally wanted something different. I can't remember what it was now, but I actually just wanted Marbles Racing League. But then there there already is one of those on YouTube using oh, okay. real marbles. Oh, really? Gels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, uh, uh, yeah, what? baby. John Tony, Oliver. we got to get into that, dude. You got to get over there. and be, You got to get really? both, man. <laughs> J uh, uh, John Oliver. Models. Last week, Tonight with John Oliver actually sponsored it for like one season. No shit. Um, that's crazy. Wow. So because it was a big joke and he's like, we're going to sponsor this. Yeah. And the next thing you know, it's, you know, you're seeing the Mar for me or it's, it was called Marbula One. So they did all this stuff. And I'm thinking, well, why can't we do this in you know, right. a virtual environment and involve everybody? And again, like, I think our very first race ever, I think I had like 50 people show okay. up um and that was not so much for the 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 msla with with and they also helped me think of a name and these different things i'm like well okay we got to do something like nascar nfl you know you got to have something that also kind of flows together when you you know, crunch it together yeah and i will tell you honestly pixel hated it at first he <laughs> hated so the pixel. term msla it's such a pixel move man yeah, it's shit go back go back to the drawing board I don't like it. He, he was just not feeling it whatsoever but i told him i said dude it, it, it is what it is i mean i already had the like shibunya designed the logo for it you know and yeah. i was like it fits it's working you know i'm doing this stuff and it, he's it, it's grown on him now he now says it without messing it up I mean, I used to always mess it up. If you ask Tiara, you ask Tiara Spark, I'd say M A S or M A S L or M S A L. Like I was always messing it up. And so, so throughout that whole thing, it was just like creating it, and then yeah, uh, the marble was actually a surprise. I didn't know that was actually coming. Um, all of a sudden, Pixel sent or no, uh, it was either Tom or Pixel sent it to me one day and was like, "Hey, we got this." You know, and I'm like, my jaw hit the floor. Oh, you didn't even know that the marble skin was coming at all? No. I just thought, you know, maybe we'll do something in world eventually. Yeah. Because, again, I uh, I work on the project, but I was never in that demanding mode where I'm like, oh, I want this, this, this. Yeah. I was just like, 
I was doing it all myself. I was just going to do the trophy. And then the marble became a thing. And it was also the very first evolving marble. That marble um, is still so, one of the best skins in the game. Yeah, it, it's is. Awesome. it is. It is. It, it was the first of all. And the hardest to get. It is. It's still the hardest marble skin to get in the game. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there with obviously you got LT, but that, the, the, the distance one is a little different. You yeah. Know, LT's it, in his little hundred thousand K. <laughs> um, yeah. That marble. Yeah. That, the, yeah, that's in a far, far galaxy far away. Yeah. And, and, and some people are going to get that one of these days. I, I think, wait, where is he on me? He's uh, down here. Uh, I think that guy will get it one day. Yeah. Tony. Uh, I'm yeah. only at 62,000. Oh, oh, only at 62,000. Yeah. Right. Like, only. I've been streaming marble since 2018 i think i maybe have 10,000 yeah, so. i haven't even gotten to 23,000 yeah i'm not even close either man Dude, josh what are you doing where's your 25k oh uh, man i did an eight hour stream and did 78 races the other day <laughs> Wow, that's my style. That's oh, more of my style, dude. Yeah. I did 367 in 15 hours. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Oh it, man. But no, it just yeah. growing it and the the outpouring of it and I will say this. It, yes, we have 727 marbles that drop in. That's Not everyone great. sticks around. And that's that's normal. People drop in, they leave. They might right. come back and check and see how they're right. doing. And the, the one way I built the MSLA is because it is so long, I've never said you must be present to win the overall race. If you're right. not most people are actually most people are around when they see themselves winning they they like that there it's been a couple that we've missed out because yeah. they went to bed because they got you, you know, tabbed up too and they're checking periodically probably yeah. as they're dropping other places as well you know i'm checking while i'm streaming yeah dropping stuff and <laughs> yeah. it's now obviously stage breaks you know that type of thing you got to be present so some of the stuff you got to be present for but the overall race you don't you get points there's now team champions like this coming saturday we're crowning our season three champion and team champions they all get trophies uh and i also like the like one big thing i'm on is i need someone from australia or new zealand to show up and win a damn race uh. <laughs> Only because that is the if you don't count Antarctica, yeah, that is the only continent we do not have an MSLA trophy. That's pretty on. cool. We got Asia. that's pretty cool how you track Africa. that too. I like how you track that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we got Asia, Africa, uh, Europe, South America, North America. Yeah, one of these days, I, I keep saying I'm going to do it, and I haven't done it yet. But I have a board that I'm going to mm. stick pins in to where See, every trophy that's is. So funny, that's Anders. So my idea. <laughs> Yeah, this was pixels yeah this we, was pixels we've idea, been so. still waiting for daniel to yeah design we've been on this yeah we've been screen. wanting to uh, to put I a globe a map of the world yeah to show dots where every listener is at i've been asking for that for a year and a half come well, on josh no, it, <laughs> i'm just gonna buy you a board like ender's right, has. Like that, right? <laughs> and i also bought colored pins yeah so i'm gonna give you pin colored pins there you go well, so like pre-season will be red yeah check out the ipad josh bought me <laughs> oh, I have a couple of those. I, I, I might be rich. Oh, so I'm not even gonna get that map. That's like, really cool, though. That that to know that it's it's crossed that many, you know, boundary lines. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it's it's been so amazing. I. I've always been behind the scenes person. That is one thing I've always strived myself mm -hmm. at. I'm very good behind the scenes. I'm not. I was never comfortable in front of a camera. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. When you came into Twitch streaming, did were, did you ever do anything in front of the camera before that? Not really. I was all, my ex wife is an actress, so I was always behind the scene. I okay. was always behind all the right. camera. Um, gotcha. And I started Twitch with just eye racing, doing my sim racing, which you can't see, but I have my sim rig over there. Do you have the um, whole wheel, the pedal? You have the everything? Like you oh, have yeah, the no. setup? <laughs> There it is. There. Uh, there you're, it own, is. you're your own damn. damn. E. Cheese, wait, wait, wait. Is that a full seat? Is that a full seat? Like it's a full. No, I, I use my seat, but it's a full collapsible like <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, metal rig that I can I slide under my desk. That's super then, cool. Like, uh, yeah. Because I used to race just attaching the wheel to my desk, but it got so much of a pain in the ass if I ever wanted to do anything other than sim race. Yeah. So I had to, I would always have to undo it. So yeah, I I bought, I bought an actual like. Do you still stream metal... that? Do I, do I ever? Is it on? Do you ever stream that? Or how often do you um, do that? I 
I only right now it's kind of taking the back seat to some other things. But, okay, uh, yeah, uh, start, busy man. At the end of the year, I'm going to be picking it up more because I'm actually uh, doing some more league racing. That I do more private league racing. I, I just so would love to crack a stuff. beer and watch you drive in that. Oh, thing. Yeah, that's that's good uh, stuff. Oh right uh, yeah, uh, th great. this. Uh, well, I was going to say it's your it's your anniversary this Thursday, but yeah. I always race Thursday nights. I actually just won last week uh, at oh, Bristol. Nice. I did. Oh, I won. So cool. I led at 90 Bristol, laps. I love it. I, I, I won at Bristol last week. I that's a, that's a tense of race. Laps in the trucks. That's a so. tense race. That's too that because that's just constant turning on brakes, turning on oh, brakes, turning on brakes. Yeah, yeah. turning on brakes. Yeah. It's quick. This week we're at Vegas. Uh, I'm actually going to say if you need if you need someone from Australia, <laughs> I could be that person. Just I just uh, as long as it has an address, I send it to you uh, and then route it back. We to need you. New Zealand too, so you better get a New Zealand pick. And we need two, Tony. We need you to go to New Zealand after this. So fly on over to New Zealand, all right? And actually, Tony, if you can go to Antarctica, Antarctica is oh, oh, That is a continent. We gotta go get there. there. There's Russian and American <laughs> secret bases up there. Nobody yeah. can go to Antarctica. It's off limits. Oh, I'm trying to man. Don't worry I'd about it. I love somebody Before, from a base. A Tony knows a guy. <laughs> What we need is somebody that's in the military on a base in yes. Antarctica to oh, log in so and cool. the race, win, and then I get to ship them a trophy. Oh, so cool. Oh, this is so, oh so cool, God. man. It's such, it's such a cool... It's just, it really has exploded into the event that... You literally see everybody, and no matter what stream you're in, it's, hey, MSLA started in 30 minutes. Everybody reminds each other now. 7,000 times. Yeah, like, it's yeah. on. 15 <laughs> minutes, get ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. MSLA, you know MSLA? Yeah, 75 <laughs> times, I know. Oh, yeah, it's so funny how many people... It's, it, but that's that's how big it's got is to where people are now reminding each other to drop and it's gotten mad. i cannot wait just that you're gonna have the first thousand in there as far as like someone that just doesn't come in as like a big you know uh it's, twitch streamer that just had drops in you know what i mean like a it's yeah, there it's gonna be crazy you know it, it's 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 there uh i'll big shot i just saw jensen jensen rose has actually written it on her arm in sharpie before so she remembers <laughs> because you know her, her community <laughs> hey, yeah, <laughs> that's funny uh but don't forget like you know you already have to get your tattoo i've set and yes well, tony's gotta get one but tony yeah. you're not out here yeah i'm getting one go. yes we're gonna get uh, one in the next month or two here i'm definitely happening. Uh, so i need to hurry up and make sure to get to a thousand racers because that's why i said i get to a thousand i'm getting an, i'm getting the MSL. okay so we got to get him there that's when it happens when he gets to a thousand me and enders together because enders is only like 45 minutes away from me around there so so it's gonna who be the, who would have thought who yeah thought? it's crazy this whole time this whole time and just real quick and we'll move we'll get back into to the football stuff right now guys but what i saw blew my mind said tony i don't know if you've seen it today but ib showed me today a track in marbles it was a gun and somebody i for, i i apologize to whoever built the track because they get massive props where a bunch of marbles went through the gun and the the streamer for the first time was able to control when the marbles shot out of that gun by just making it go in slow-mo at the right time. He could choose when those marbles would shoot. That's the first time I've ever seen in the game a streamer have control in any way of a race. I know, have you I seen that, Enders? That map yet. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, it's... Uh, who's message me? It's... I was it's blown away this morning. I was blown away it, on IB stream. Shout out again, whoever, whoever built it. Big shout out. It's been a collaboration of minds with a lot of the track builders. I think, like I know, Shens is involved. Diablo. There's been a lot of people. I oh, think, Diablo involved. Bob's the chat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I need to hide now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Tony. I was blown away. I, I I've been playing this game for a long time, and it's always just click rng no let it go down there, right? like you, you can away. this is i think it's going to change the game <laughs> it i i think it's gonna definitely change a couple things it's yes. going to really one thing i've said is our i've been a part of marble since before you guys so i've seen it i've seen all the different yeah. versions map builders each and every season completely blow me away with what they create what they do i remember lk jeremy i think um uh shens i forget who else was involved when they made that drag racing track that would count down mm -hmm. it was all there was a whole mechanism behind this box that you had no idea what's going on back there but it's working with other stuff in it was just like yeah what like mm -hmm. that's my re reaction and i just this yeah. crazy crazy stuff and things like that now where you know there can be something like that like i i don't know 
you know what's gonna go along with it you know i i don't know you know like yeah it's just exciting to it. see it was it's, it was like your experience yeah it was i was literally like my jaw dropped and i was like this is happening right now like yeah this is so cool that the math the physics whatever the map builder I did so lost with all the like that. finally rig marbles this is beautiful <laughs> <laughs> well knockers just is clicking the button and the camera just does whatever you know well, hey the camera's like seventy five thousand feet away and he's like not understanding anything that you're talking oh, about right now oh man daniel daniel just texted me like hey stupid fix your mic <laughs> Uh, I told you, I told you it happened, Tony. I told you it happened. Daniel would get called at some point during before no, the he, show. He, yeah. te he texted me. He, he texted me with this. Uh, hey, dummy, your mic's on Discord. Set up the microphone to your webcam. You can check that by going to the cog next to your name and go to voice and video. Make sure your input's on microphone USB. So I did it. Dude, when you guys were talking, I think I fixed it. Yeah, you sound good. You sound yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good. You yeah. got it. You got it. Yes. You got it. That's so it. That's as far as I go. My brain is <laughs> <we're done. laughs> It's over. Uh, he fixed it. He fixed it. Dad did it. Everyone, hooray! <laughs> oh man! But and we'll, and we'll close it out because it, it, with that, just on marbles. Because I, I just think that's just. I was Tony. It was amazing. I think you should go check it out. It was really cool to see. As someone's been doing marble, obviously marbles for a while now. Like to see that the, what the marble builders can do, it just blows my mind. And yeah. a real quick, Enders. I know you got some back. I don't know if you can give us the scoop, but will we see more laps? track i know you've wanted a road course and i know you i, mean, I know you're in pixels here and i know you now you're with with them and, and do we have can you say anything about a new laps track at all possibly in the future there's always future there's always uh. new things it's, it's <laughs> all about all, no, what an answer by thank you Anders. There's, 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 there's always future there's always future <laughs> i will say this is that a fortune right right now? Now? <laughs> so airman is the modeler he's modeled everything he's done all the updates he him and tom worked for two months on the water park yeah that, you know that, with, that which track is, is insane. so cool yeah so i i'm just waiting for my time and you know the workload to be able to say okay let me get airman for about a couple weeks here let's <laughs> get let's go because um delta is actually the first track that i really so uh paperclip and boomerang were designed like without my input they were they were done and you know airman did them and they were they came out amazing delta was the first one where i was really the one that was like okay let's do this involved in it yeah yeah so uh i'm i'm the next one again i want to be a road course i'm just you know waiting for the the bandwidth to open up but yes right. there will be more because we're aside from msla just people love the laps tracks yeah. too because you can do big races you can do you know two laps and boom yeah. uh you know it, it's 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 fun Tyson, the whole thing and uh but there will be more there and, will be and more. then we get, and then we get the figure eight right enders we, oh, man, <laughs> i don't want to get in we don't have to get i know i don't want to get in there i, I saw you break it down on i think ron i we don't have to get into all that <laughs> everyone wants a figure eight oh, <laughs> the carnage each other that i want a figure eight <laughs> I think I would melt Pixel and Cake Stan's <laughs> brains because they'd have to rewrite so much coding to make that marbles work, too, marbles too, marbles too. You put it in. The Velocity Brothers. <laughs> Let's get the Velocity Brothers and Pinky Tuscadero out on that track. Oh, Let's go. Oh man, Let's that's fantastic. It. All right, yeah, I want, I want more. I do want more. I want there, more. there will be more. Awesome, will be more. awesome, Woo! awesome. All right, well, let's get into some football, everybody. We got week three. We had week two uh, games. Uh, we're absolutely off the hook. I told Knocker, I've always said it before. Good teams always bounce back after bad mm -hmm. football game, uh, after a bad week. And we saw a lot of them bounce back uh, this week, including Green Bay bouncing back in a big way. Uh, the Browns coming back for a win as well. The Bills just destroying the Dolphins here. Uh, the Patriots ba uh, bouncing back as well. Um, and um, I think the big surprise for me and actually took him was the Panthers. I, I, everyone just jumped on the Saints early after that big win over Green Bay, you know, and I just, I just pumped the brakes a little bit. And they really, I think the Saints are more of the team we saw in week two than they are in, in week one. Uh, once again, kickers, always the issue, whether it's good or bad in the NFL, won, won a couple teams games and lost a couple teams games. So uh, a big week for cities. We're getting my power rings. We've got some movers. And shifters here, Knocker. Everybody's favorite. Oh, Movers go. and shifters. Uh, Enters, I don't know if you've heard this before, but uh, this yeah. is me me and one of our yeah. very first producers in a garage 13 years ago at their very first sound effect. <laughs> Tony's laughing. So, it's so bad, Tony. <laughs> isn't it? It's so bad for our power rankings. So basically, we took the Go Go Power Rangers song and we put the power nice. rankings into it. So here you go.
brings back memories. <laughs> this is me and my buddy harmonizing. <laughs> Go go power rankings. <laughs> That's so bad. Go go power rankings. <laughs> oh my lord. This is so bad. This was 13 years ago. Yeah, it was 13 years ago in a I garage know, studio, go. man. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Am I, why am I on this show, really? Why am I on to this show right now? <laughs> oh, oh, the power rankings again brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped, we're going to get our read in right now. Um, all you gamblers, attention gamblers of all shapes and sizes, our friends at Manscaped. Have a can't miss bet for you today. Leaders in male grooming just launched their fourth generation performance package. The betting odds are in your favor when you use the lawnmower 4.0 on your balls. Across the board, this is the package to get in the mood for whatever your gambling heart desires. Ready to take the leap into male grooming royalty? Two million men already have. Join the Manscaped movement today by going to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping. Use code squad. What is it? Code squad, baby. Knocker. Do you know the yep. lawnmower 4.0 has you covered from shaving your balls butt and even the gooch? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did yes. you know that all over the place? It also includes a weed whacker to chop those worst weeds up top of your nose. You know, you get those those nose hairs, ears hairs later in your life that you gotta deal shit. with. You know what I mean? Gnarly, gnarly stuff. Shit. This nose and that. hair trimmer provides uh skin safe technology knocker, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs. Because you know, you just don't want any of that on there. You know what I mean? You want a nice clean Nick free shave knocker. Uh, hitting your favorite is a fun, but shave my balls with confidence is what you're going to do with Manscaped. So today you get 20% off again. There's a picture that Milan Moore, me and Knocker, Tony, all have it. It is fantastic. And so many of you have gone out there and supported it. It's again, they have men and women's uh, grooming products. They have boxers, t-shirts as well. Uh, I know there's so many of you that have used it. I really appreciate it. Keep it going. It's powerful, Use code too. squad. It is powerful. Thank you. It's it's fantastic. And please support them because they support us all through this football season. We have signed on with them. So again, get 20% off free shipping. Use code squad at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping uh, at manscaped.com with code squad. Fellas, don't gamble on shaving your balls with the wrong tools. Get manscaped today. All, I, all right. All I know, Josh, all I know is I I have put a fan under my desk. And I wear the loosest shorts that I can. And damn, when you're manscaped and and there ain't no hair to get in the way of the air, ooh, it's cool and refreshing. It's like a peppermint patty for your nads. When you got the wind blowing up your shorts and you got yourself manscaped, it's like a peppermint patty for your nether regions. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's why I don't wear pants when I stream. Right? Exactly. It's so cool. You know what's really funny is part of the deal that I have to clip our segment. We do the reads and send it to them every week. And I can't believe that that's going to be the end of the read. It's going to be fantastic for them. <laughs> peppermint. Oh, uh, yeah. Peppermint it's going to be. Sack. Everyone loves a peppermint uh, sack. You're just feeling cool, fresh. And just that, I, I don't think you could have given a better plug for their product, Knock. I think they're going to be very saying. happy with that. I think the they're going to be very happy the with best. that read. <laughs> always the best. Oh man, so good. All right, everybody, here we go. We're gonna get into it. Power rankings. We've got our first team up here. Here we go. Ravens. Ravens <laughs> coming in in the number ten spot right here. Uh, bounce back win. Now, knocker. I, I just, I'm a little confused. The same thing, Anders. I'm a little confused. I, there's, there's teams that just, are they good or do they just get lucky? Because I mean, the Ravens literally, the Chiefs don't fumble. I'm sorry. The, I mean, if the Raven, uh, the Chiefs don't fumble, the Ravens don't win that game. Like, the Chiefs are going to go down and probably score and win that game. So how good are the Ravens? I know that the quarterback had a great game, but I got to put them at number 10 here. I'm still not confident enough to put them any higher than that knocker right now after what I've seen after two games. Again, a good bounce back win, but uh, they got a little lucky. Well, yeah, everybody everybody that has a good record at the end of the season in the NFL has some lucky wins, you know, during the season. So, um, you know, they played a good against, a game against the Raiders. The Raiders had a whole year to prepare for them at home with fans in their stadium. So you really, it's really, you know, the Raiders are a lot better than we thought they are. They just went on the road to beat the Steelers. So I'm not putting much into that loss. It was a great football game, and they just happened to lose. And, you know, turnabout's fair play, you know. They probably should have beat the Raiders, and they probably should have lost to the Chiefs, you know, but... You cause a fumble. That was just a great play. The guy, yeah. could, that's that's football. He yeah. Beat his, he, you know, he wasn't, he didn't beat his block. Clean, yeah, like I can't, yeah, you can't, sense. they made a football play and it happened. Like, exactly. I get that. I, I understand that, but it does give me hesitant to put them up any higher than I admit 10. Anders, what are your thoughts on Ravens Lamar after the first two weeks here? 
I, I think they're off to a good start. I know they lost that first game, you know, in a nail biter with the Raiders, but yeah. that, that was such a close battle in week one on uh-huh. Monday Night Football. It was, it was a great way to open the season, you know, definitely. And uh, to come back and, you know, take down, you know, one of the best teams in football. Yeah, or the right best now, team. Yeah. Yeah. One top yeah, two. Yeah. You know, Mahomes and like just. Uh, Ravens could do something. I think Jackson has had enough years under his belt. I think he's just he still going to make mistakes, but yeah. I think he's you know matured, and I really think the Ravens are they're probably going to climb your uh, power rankings over the next. Couple yeah, and weeks I think Lamar they they use Lamar in the right way. I think that's what they really get the most out of Lamar Jackson that they possibly could, I believe. And what a big call on that fourth down in that game to go for it. And you saw love Harbaugh it. on the sideline saying, hey, Lamar, you want to go for it? And, you know, talking to him, he's like, hey, let's fucking go for it. I love that in a coach that, that just doesn't have fear and it ready to go for it and just put his balls yep. on the table. I loved it. Uh, Tony, we've got the, the Ravens at 10. Tony, thoughts on the Ravens? Honestly, I think the Ravens got lucky last week. Yep. They, they, they're not a top 10 team. Okay, they're I like just it. Not- that's all I gotta say. I, they went toe to toe with the them best the on this show. I fucking no, love Tony. Totally with them, with, to them, with them the whole damn It's all a mirage sometimes, you know. <laughs> it's a mirage. It's, it's a, a mirage. mirage. You're from Tony. Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> Next team up here, Knocker, for the first time at the top 10 this season. Raiders. Raiders, Knocker. The Raiders coming to number nine in this one. The Raiders here, a big... Win again for the Raiders here, and, and a convincing win. This wasn't something that they just held on. They were thumping the Steelers from the start of that game knocker, um, and they come into next week uh, with a very winnable game. Let me check who they play next week. I think they're going to be three and zero after this uh, after this next game. They play the Dolphins next. We're banged up quarterback, just got banged up in Tua. I think they go three and zero, and then go in to play the Chargers in Week Four here. I like the Raiders. I mean, I got to give them credit where credit's due. They've beat two really good football teams and the Ravens and the Steelers and back-to-back games and games normally that the Raiders would blow. I got to put them here in number nine. Yeah, you, you really can't, you, you really can't um, downplay them. I mean, yes, they, you could say they got lucky in, in, in game one, but you know what? When you play the full 60 minutes, sometimes good things happen. You know, play every single play. You know, like it's the last play you're going to play, and the Raiders have shown some spirit. They've shown some uh, tenacity. Mm-hmm. Um, their offense is a little better. Their defense, which sucked for the last three years. You know, I told you when they hired Gooden. You didn't like the hire. I liked it. I told you, give him a couple years, give him a couple three years to get the people in. That All right, let, let's pump the brakes a little bit, okay? So, let's pump the brakes a little bit. But, but I'm just saying, they're a good football team. I don't think this is a miragey. I think they're a good football <laughs> team. Will they win the West? I don't know. But, you know, like you said, they beat two good football teams, and oh. that says something. Uh, love, what do you got, Enders? What do you think about the Raiders? Raider Nation, uh, baby. Well, obviously, opposite of the Ravens conversation, the Raiders, I I agree. They're going to be 3-0 after this week because mm. Dolphins are hurting. Um, I Again, I'm not a fan of the Raiders, but uh, you bring Chucky back to coach for them. I, if anybody doesn't remember, his nickname was Chucky yeah, Tampa because Bay. he gets so angry. Yeah. Um, and this is not his first stint with the Raiders. John Gruden uh, was did pretty well with them the last time. And I think yeah. it just takes them. It's taken him some time. And now that they're cemented in Las Vegas, they have their. Um, yeah. I want to go see the stadium. I, I want to go. Look it at looks the like stadium. something out of Star Wars. It's it really beautiful. does. Yeah. It, 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 yeah and you know because i love uh, I, I hate the golden knights in hockey but i love the stadium um <laughs> it, it, it's the uh i think the raiders are gonna do pretty good this year i don't i i think they're gonna make the playoffs i don't know how far they're gonna go though in the playoffs all and right I, I i think it's a nine good good ranking for them now when Definitely i usually good. when i rank these dinners just say so you no know, i'm ranking these teams for me if they played on a neutral field i'm taking the team to beat the other team so like right now if i had to take Raiders Ravens obviously because I've seen the Raiders beat them I'm going to take the Raiders over the Ravens at this point on a neutral field uh until the Ravens proves me otherwise Tony what do you got in the Raider Nation bud I like them like you know I, I going into this week last week I didn't I didn't think they were going to do well but Carr throwing for almost 400 yards if he keeps that up I think they're going to do very well yeah, this season you're, you're, that's the big thing is if Carr can carry I mean stay healthy that, that it, it's all up to the quarterback with the Raiders they do have the talent around him next up here knocker number eight we're going to go at the number eight, Cardinals. and we're going to go at the Cardinals here, Knocker. Two and oh now. I know oh, they really might have been one and one. Yeah, hey, hey, really? listen. If really the Vikings Josh? kicker can make a chip shot, but how many Kyler, Vikings kickers have missed field goals over the last fucking Josh, four years? Kyler Murray sucks, Dude, doesn't shut, he? Knocker, shut Kyler up. Kyler sucks, huh, Josh? 
Oh, yeah, Kyler's never going to make it. He's never going to be any good. Quote, 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 quote the the sports game. <laughs> he sucks. Okay, they got lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, they got, you're such a dick. Uh, yes, they did get lucky, but a win's a win, right, Knocker? It doesn't yeah, matter when you, look at, when you look at a win, a win's a win. Baby. And this team, uh, I believe, is playing, like I said, with a chip on their shoulder almost, Knocker. The offense is just moving and grooving right now with... Uh, uh, the quarterback as well, the young quarterback, Kyler Murray, and then DeAndre Hopkins, again, I th who I think is top three receiver in the league, uh, uh, and out, out with the, uh, oh God, the yes. Texans Are now. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so the Cardinals here, 2-0, oh, Knocker. Um, now, I look at them, too, as well as I still have questions. I have questions about their defense. I have questions about can they close out late games because, like I said, they make that field goal, and they're 1-1 one -on -one team, and then we're talking possibly different about them. But I think they're going to win next week. They play the Jaguars. I think they're going to go into this in a three and zero going into play the Rams in Week Four, uh, which is going to be a huge game uh, playing in LA. Uh, which I think both both those teams will be three and zero when they meet up. So I've got them at number eight. I think they beat um, the Raiders and the Ravens here on a neutral field. What do you got, Enders? Uh, it's it's tough. I mean, right now the NFC West is the strongest division I think in all of football. I mean, yeah, the Seahawks are one and one, uh, but right now you have other teams you got the rams you got the cardinals and you got the um 49ers 49ers thank you yeah man brain fart are are all just ki kicking it right now i yeah. think the cardinals are always that sleeper team i mean you think how many years ago they made the freaking super bowl yeah it was right? the, cardinals, <laughs> the arizona yeah. Cardinals. yeah i know yeah uh, that's you like know. the jets making the super bowl <laughs> um, kurt warner that's the biggest reason for me to vote him in the nfl whatever he did prior he took the he cardinals, the cardinals <laughs> to the super bowl what, yeah. what did, cardinals. and what did he do with the rams but, but the Rams had a yeah. the Rams are the Rams. They had been there before at least yeah, once. The Cardinals. They had yeah. played exactly. They had played for the NFC Championship quite a few times in my in in my days. And, and you got like, losses each and every time. But for Arizona to make the Super Bowl, my you God. got Larry Fitzgerald, who's just a god. Yeah, I don't even know when that man's going to retire. You know, he's he he is the Jerry like, Rice of Cardinal. our age, kind of. Yeah. He's like you yeah, know what I mean. He's yeah. just a marathon man. He's yeah. just going and going and going. How many how many different variations of the cardinals has he gone through? gone through um yeah. i i think what the cardinals are playing jacksonville yeah, yeah. I, I agree I think I they think go Arizona three and oh next win. week and so they're in they're in jacksonville i mean it's gonna be a good game for them yeah. um but i think they return you know to la with uh the rams yeah yeah that, and they that both will play. be a, that'll be a big game four is yeah. gonna be a big game yeah exactly that, be, tony cardinals go to that tony cardinals, cardinals. kyla murray 400 yards three touchdowns I think if he keeps his interceptions down and he throws a little bit more to AJ Green, they yeah. beat the Jaguars hands down. I'm with you. I'm I like with AJ you on that. Green I like that. I like it too. Here we go. Next one up here, Knocker. Your number seven, Browns. Your Browns, Knocker. Your Browns, Knockers. Right, Browns baby. bouncing back with a win uh, this past week, Knocker. Uh, a, a nice win over the Texans, who seem to be a little more feisty than people are giving credit for. Everyone kind of counting out the Texans this year, and they're putting up a battle with teams. Um, and uh, Browns, though, come in, and ba uh, Baker Mayfield has a, a really good game, 19 for 21. Didn't have to do much. Threw for 213 yards, one touchdown. Um, it was more of a Nick Chubb 100-yard uh, game, 100, and a touchdown in that one as well. Uh, the Browns, I believe, still have one of the best rosters in all of football, uh, even though they brain fart a lot of the time. Um what can you say? Big bounce week week. They play the Bears uh, this week. Which I think they're going to win. They'll go to two and one. Uh, they got the Vikings after that, and I think they beat the Vikings as well. I, I think the Browns. I think got past that first game, and they bounced back in a big way for a team that normally would just you know put their heads down. Oh, we lost to the Chiefs. Here we go. We're zero and one. Bounce back one and one. I like them there uh, at the number six spot. Totally different different atmosphere. Though. Or seven. I'm sorry. A, I think they have a solid coach. Um, they're going to settle down. Okay, they lost to Kansas City. He made a stupid pass at the end. Again, it's it's all a learning curve. Everything's going to be all right. Mahomes did the same damn ass thing. Um, I I just like him. I I've been saying it since they drafted him. Just just wait until that thing stabilizes. Wait until they get the culture going in the right direction. And I, I think they're a really good football team. So yeah, I think they'll be four and zero. Like you said, after the first uh, quarter of the season. Anders, what do you got? Uh, that's a tough one. I, I just, I, I like Baker Mayfield. Uh, I think, you know, again, you, you get him with the right coaching. You get him, you know, a couple more years under his belt. Yeah. I don't think they're going to really blow people's minds this season yet. I think they're, 
they're still the Browns. I mean, people think that. <laughs> it's, right. Yo, Ohio, they're what's still, up? Ender, send them your hate mail. Let's go. They're still an expansion team. Whoa. They're an expansion team. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, Ender's just coming on, just bringing gunpowder, baby. That's Dude. some serious shade right there. Oh, <laughs> they are, the original Browns left because they didn't want to be there anymore. Uh, I, I will. Big shout out, though. Amazing movie, Draft Day. If you haven't watched it, oh, watch it's really it. good. I it's a good movie. Really good I love movie. that movie. Whenever it's on TV, I have to watch it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the Browns are—they they can shock, or they're either going to shock people, or they're going to do what people. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It, yeah. It's hard. I say, I say, <laughs> and this is so about, perplexed by, by the Browns. <laughs> by week five, by week five, they're not even in your power rankings anymore. Oh! <laughs> oh! This is like Knocker. Knocker thinks the Browns are like AFC, like you know, conference Whoa, contenders they're the, here. They're the third best team in the AFC. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> gonna... This is no. What do you think, Tony? Tony, you on the Browns train or no? Do I see a no, bet here? No, no Browns. No Browns. No Browns. If Tony Rod doesn't get hurt, Texans wins that game. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what Tony's he came in going, during a deception. What the fuck? <laughs> The Browns didn't win uh, that game. Yeah. The Texans lost, like I always say. Uh, wow. All right, I like it. All right, next up here, we've got a wow. number six team here. Number six, Seahawks. The Seahawks, Knocker. I know that they lost, uh, but I, they, they were up in that game by two touchdowns. They should not have lost that game. They were at home up by two touchdowns late in the fourth quarter against the Titans, and somehow just let the Titans come back and score 17 points to win that game. Um, I'm still a big believer in the Seahawks. I think if they played any of the teams under them right now, I would still bet them. If I was in Vegas and I saw Seahawks versus Cardinals, neutral field, I'm betting the Seahawks. I saw Seahawks Ravens. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the Seahawks. Seahawks Raiders. I'm going to take the Seahawks in that game. Uh, I got the Seahawks at six here. Uh, I think they are uh, still a good team. These one and one teams. I I, I, I like. I, I'm still a believer in Russell, man. I, I'm still a believer in Russell. I got him at six. Shaking your head. First, is this your first disagreement of the night? You incredibly ignorant slut. <laughs> there is no way that the Seahawks beat the four teams that you have below them. Right now on a neutral field, there's no freaking oh. way. You play these four games on a neutral field, I'm taking the Browns, the Cardinals, the Raiders, and the Ravens every single time right now. Wow. Based on Based on the collapse, based on what happened to a mediocre Tennessee team, there's no way you lose that game and get ranked number six. I'm sorry. Ah, knocker they should have won that game like they should... exactly that's my point yeah but exactly it, yeah but it's like i'm not fault i i do i fault the chiefs for the chiefs running back throw like you know losing the football it's, at the end of the game you know it's, it's like football didn't you just say they had a 17 point lead <sighs> yeah you're didn't right you i mean me i still like him i'm still i still lead? i still believe in sex what do you think enders what do you got Whatever. are you hating this pick as well uh, 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 I, I'm a daddy-o here. I, 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 I think I, I'm surprised the Seahawks are even in your top Whoa. 10. Thank you. Thank you. The chicken hawks Damn. are too worried about the, you know, the Seattle Kraken Damn. coming in and stealing their limelight uh, next season when the NHL season starts. Uh, Derrick Henry whooped on the Seahawks. He had three touchdowns, almost 200 yards. I know, I know, I know. 182 I... yards, three <sighs> touchdowns. Tannehill... Th almost oh, 347 yards grant no touchdowns no interceptions but yeah i'm yeah I'm, okay so we got disagree uh, seahawks, <laughs> seahawks seahawks shouldn't even be the sea yeah no, okay get, get him tony out, get him out. tony what do you got <laughs> tony, on my seahawks up. tony are you with the guys i'm with enders and Nog on this one because <laughs> they lost how many My times boy. are they gonna lose? They, gonna say, they're oh, well, one and one. They, they, they lost, <laughs> but they're still good. They lost. They're not good. Oh my god! Cousins, I love you guys. Is, Cousins is gonna show up next week, oh, and they're gonna get, get destroyed. Fucking, this fucking Tony Cousins. <laughs> oh, all right, the bell. We've got the number five team up next. Number five. <laughs> The Bills, baby. I got the Bills here. Number five. Big bounce back win. Huge win. It was one of my bets of the weekend as well. Um, they are now one and one knocker. They played like the team I, I that I thought they were coming into the season uh, back to the AFC Championship game, uh, which I think they're going to get to this year. The Bills, 35 to zero, shutting down the Dolphins. I know Tua got hurt in that one, so it's kind of a, a little bit of a smoke and mirrors there. But uh, Josh Allen, two TDs. Didn't have the best passing game, but looked a lot better. Had a good running game going. But the Bills, I think their defense is... Really, really good. I think the Bills have a lot of weapons, and um, I think they're going to go far here in the AFC. I like them at number five here. I think they beat any of the team below them on a neutral field.
Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. I think, you know, sometimes a loss is really good for a team. Mm -hmm. uh, all the hype all the hype behind the Bills before the season started, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. So, so, you know, if a loss is good for you, um, a loss in week one was probably a really good thing to happen to the Bills to, you know, put away the press clippings and shut the, shut the door to the locker room and, and, you know, let's get down to business here. Let's, 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 you know, we need to perform on the field, not just in the papers. Yeah. So I think that was a good thing that, that happened to them. And, and I don't have any problem with them being at number five. Okay. What do you got to Enders on them coming in? I, I, I completely agree. I mean, the, I know it's only week two of the season, but they were the first yeah. team to get a shutout. Um, the Dolphins, again, Tua doesn't get hurt. Maybe it could have been a bit, little bit better of a battle, but I, I agree that them losing that first game in week one, I think was a big, uh, you know, slap wake on their call. asses. Yeah, yeah wake-up call. And uh, I agree. I think the Bills are going to make it all the way to the AFC Championship this season. Yeah. Yeah. You and I are just, like, right in touch right here. Yeah, yeah we're, like we're, we're two, two in a row. We're good. I like that. Tony, I'm I'm with it. I'm with the Bills. I am with the Bills. There we go. You can't see me right that's now, it. but that's I'm shaking my head at you that's, and Ender's right that's now. That's in-depth analysis right there. That's people it. On the sports <laughs> <business>. <laughs> that's so that's nothing else. You that's will it. never get more in-depth analysis than that. Thirty-five right there. Oh, What can you say? <laughs> there, I'm you know. The I'm with I will the add in. I will there add in. Go. The Bills are that <laughs> team that deserve to go because what happened to them in the late 80s early oh 90s? man four years in a row oh. probably one of the best teams in football yeah just jim kelly worst, never getting a ring as yeah. thurman the thomas luck, yeah the worst luck in the super bowl but yeah. had the best luck during the season yeah it's crazy jim kelly thurman uh, thomas like, bruce smith they had so yeah, many uh, don bb is on that yeah. team it is crazy the, if the if when the bills make it to a super bowl very soon it's going to be a huge just yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's amazing. And, yeah. and if they go on and win it, yeah. Oh, like that's the Bills, that the city Bills will go crazy. Won just one of those Super Bowls, they probably have four more guys on that team in the Hall of Fame. Yep. That weren't they get didn't get the recognition. Yeah, you're probably exactly. right. You're exactly. probably right. Had Here they we won go. Just one of those. Yeah. More of that team are in the Hall of Fame. In the Hall of Fame. Here we go. Number four again. Top five teams. When I put a team in the top five, it's one like the team. Top five for me is like Super Bowl contending teams here. Number We're, four. Number four here. The 49ers knocker. Another big win here. They beat an Eagles team who you know came out in Week One and and blew the socks off Atlanta, uh, and then they had to travel on the road here. Um, I think this is their second road game. They were in Detroit, right? Then when they won, then they beat the Lions last week. They were in Detroit. Second yeah. road victory. Even more impressive here. Jimmy G. I'm not a fan. I, I think he's more of a Trent Dilfer type for me. Like that team has so many weapons and that defense is built as well. And they've got great coaching and I think they have great offensive coaching. But as long as Jimmy just doesn't turn the ball over a run and do stupid shit and get hurt, like I think this team can go far. I really do. I know we have a lot of Niners fans in chat and them. Niners fans always give me crap for ranking them too low, but I think I got the Niners perfect here at number four. Uh, I disagree. Oh my God. I think in a neutral field, the Bills beat the 49ers. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I agree with El Cat's gaming right now. I think I think Ooh. among all of these, I think the 49ers lose to the Bills on a neutral field. Damn. Okay. So, so you just flip those two. That would be your only flip on those two, though, right there. Yes. Okay. You flip them. Anders, what about you? Do you feel the same as Pops? Um, I, I feel very yeah, same with that. I think Jimmy G, great, good, good quarterback, but like you you touched on, he's got more weapons around him yeah i think that are definitely keeping these games good um i i think this coming week they're gonna have a tough game um they got a again i'm not on the packers boat but they have a strong team coming to see them this week i think uh you know it's gonna be a tough game for them yeah who they got I, they I, got uh, oh the packers oh that's the packers. sunday night football game that's gonna yeah. be huge yeah that's a um, huge game i think i think the packers came off a good win uh aaron Rodgers finally maybe feeling like he wants to be in green bay yeah uh, you know i think it's gonna be a tough game for the niners do the niners pull it out maybe because you know home uh you know out here in california yeah. but um i i do agree i, I would have swapped the you swap the two of them okay what yeah, are your thoughts just, just real quick what are your thoughts on aaron Rodgers? are you an aaron Rodgers guy do you think he's been you know more of a pain in the ass and especially this off season like what are your thoughts on him real I, quick he does not want to be in green bay Okay. He is. He will not be there next season. <clears throat> okay. He will be. He will be someplace else. I got you. And it sucks. I think he's a great. He is an amazing quarterback. He's one of my. He's faves. done amazing things yeah. for Green Bay. I just. He's fed up with the management. And sometimes and it's just time to, to move on. Else. It just gets. It's just time to move on. Sometimes it's like sports. It really is. Yeah. Like it's exactly. Tony, thoughts here on the Niners. 
I think honestly, I think they uh, they played the Eagles. They won, but who cares? It's the Eagles. Thank <laughs> you. I mean, come on. I right, love honestly. you, Tony. I love you, Tony. Who cares? It's the Eagles. I love the analogy. The Eagles. And, and that's, I that's all I gotta say about oh, that. I love playing, it. They look like they're good, but they're really not. Right? Oh, I love I it. I love put them top ten. That's fantastic. I love it. All right, next up here, number three. Number three. Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. They dropped a couple spots. I got some quite. I, I still think they're the top three team in the NFL, but I do have some questions. You can run up the middle on the Chiefs, which you've seen. And I just think sometimes their defense really scares me. But again, they should be 2-0 if the, if the running back doesn't, you know, get the ball knocked out of his hand. They're sitting here 2-0 and where I'm talking about them as number one, possibly. So I still think that they are a top three team. I still think they're a Super Bowl contending team. Mom's just still, for me, the best quarterback in football right now. And I think, still think they have a top three coach. Andy Reid's a genius. I think he's a great play caller. Sometimes absent-minded with the play clock, but a great play caller. Um, I like the Chiefs here at number three knocker. I think they beat any team below them um, on a neutral field here. That I agree with, but I just hate the fact that you just assume that the kicker was going to make the field goal to win the game. Ask the Vikings how <laughs> how good it is to assume that you set up for a game-winning field goal instead of going in I for get, a touchdown. I, I, get I hate that at the end of the game. <laughs> if there's one thing that really oh, no. just, just, just grabs my nuts and squeezes them, to pain is when a team plays for a field goal when they have time to score a fucking touchdown at the end of the game. Yeah. Why leave it up to a guy that just does one thing? He's a kicker, okay? They're professional kickers, but how many times have I watched my money go down the effing drain because the <laughs> kicker can't make a 30 yard oh, field trust goal? Me. When the Cowboys the kicked that field goal, touchdown. I thought it was right. gone. Yeah, Cowboys never make that field goal. I don't know what happened this week. Exactly. The Cowboys never make that field goal. Score the damn touchdown. For you to sit here and say the Chiefs automatically win that game is like saying the Seahawks automatically win the Super Bowl against the Patriots. <laughs> God, it ain't you. over till oh. it's fucking over. Oh, I love you so okay? much. It's not over till All it's right. over. You have no idea. Bad snap. Maybe Tony <laughs> Romo was going to be the holder. You never know. Go for the kill. Like I said before, when you got it by the <sighs> scrotum, it's time to twist and pull him off. <laughs> so Don't you give it up. There, so you sit there to see the Chiefs just oh. would have won the game. I can't agree with you, but I agree with you at number three. <laughs> Enders, can you hear this playing right now? The, no, music, no. No? Okay. I'm going to load you up. I don't know if you ever I'm going to put it into uh, the soundboard here so you can hear it for a second. Have you ever heard uh, Knocker's angry rant before of my dad? Uh, no. And it goes with Star Wars music. I think you're going to love this right now. It's absolutely fantastic. Let me load this in for you real quick. People uh, know me so well. They just say Star Wars and they know I'm in. They know uh, I'm in. It's awesome. All right, here we go. It's loading in. All right, and there's this one. This is like a compilation one of our old producers did of my of my dad through like you know the last probably about four or five years of him getting angry at either me and my football takes or other people on the show. Here we go. Stop! Let me talk. Horseshit! This pisses me off. You're my <laughs> segment. Make fun of me all you want, cheese breath. But what the hell? Just move! <laughs> Just move! Keep moving. Just it drives me nuts. Yeah. All right. So besides yelling at four Asians in front of us, did you have a good time? Uh, yeah. Other than that, it was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I ever see one, I'm taking the shotgun out. I am like this close to just losing control. <laughs> it's updating. <laughs> Knockers. I didn't ask it to update, no, and it's updating For the again. second show, your computer second has just gone up. Get yes. an apple. I've been telling you for years. Get an apple. You don't let me talk. I'm yeah, because you're not making out any here. sense, though. You don't let me finish my damn because point. Because your stuff makes sense. I don't care if, if Dan Marino can, can move around the pocket. Can he run for a third I and seven? He, he no, he can't because he's slow. You can leave now, Tony, whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay? Now, can I finish my point? I don't care. <laughs> he just bumped my camera. No longer in the center of that Art, picture. Look at You're right there. Look at right? There you go. You're fixed. You're fixed. Thing I will not tolerate. <laughs> That's over disagreeing with him on okay? Yeah, you really got mad at for agreeing with Aaron Rodgers. I over certainly there, didn't did. You? I just don't like stupid. It's not fun. It's stupid and selfish. You As you know know being I and I don't really give a crap that you're a Ducks fan. You when you've got the scrotum in your hand, you squeeze your fingers and you rip it off. I like that, Enders. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, it's passion. Oh, it's passion. That, that's, that's what, what, that's what he's got. That's what he's got. a knocker right there. Hey, Holy God. 
there's a reason I don't stream iRacing. Anybody that has ever seen me stream iRacing, there's sometimes reason. I'm that nice guy. I'm the nice guy, you know. In but if we, if we bump you, though, in a corner, man. Oh, man. I am, like, I... That's the oh. end as I want to see, Yeah, though. see, that's the one I oh, want to oh, see, too. Oh, yes. You motherfucking yeah. sister's cock. Fuck this shit. That's what I want to see. I, I, I do everyone. get that way. Like, I, it's like they always say, like, you know, football players, any sports person, they put that helmet on. They they put that jersey on, and they, like, they hit that switch in their brain, and they are ready. Oh. You, you might be the nicest guy in the world, but you put that helmet on, you strap yourself into a car that can go 200 miles an hour, <laughs> you're changing your attitude, baby. So you want to see I'm that way, and I just use it. I just race at home. Oh, <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. All right, finish out the power rankings real quick and then we're going to take a quick two minute break refresh and come back and do all of our picks in the nfl week three knocker at number two i've got your number two rams. i got the rams baby they I, I think they're super bowl contenders they look fantastic matt stafford looks good he's got a little bit of a Great bum trade. a bum thumb right now i think he's dealing with like but stafford's always kind of dealing with some injury um I, I, again that defense is amazing again he's got so many weapons all over the field i think henderson has really stepped in the shoes here uh, of the running back really good uh, after their top running back went out earlier in the season. Uh, knocker with that. I think it's Achilles injury or something. Um, and so uh, I, I really like the Rams here at number two. I think they beat any team. I think they actually beat the Chiefs right now. I think right now I feel actually a little confident in taking the Rams over the Chiefs here on a neutral field and everybody else on the field. What do you got? Uh, I'm a little surprised that you, you were saying that um, when uh, I, I think it was Arizona comes to visit the Rams that they would be 4-0. So are you saying they beat Tampa this week? Am I saying that the Rams beat Tampa? Don't they play Tampa Bay this yeah, week? Yeah, I actually yeah, do. I actually do think LA. that the Rams beat Tampa Bay. I, that's, I, you're, right now you're supposed to wait on my picks. I'm supposed to wait, man. You're Look, really it's surprised. It's pretty fucking obvious. Come on. We're doing a sports show. Come on. Tampa Bay just won the Super Bowl, and you don't have them listed yet, so sorry for the surprise bust, everybody. Well, they're number like one, of course. Know, God. You really think Tampa's going to come in and and I think I think the Rams. I think the Rams. I think that I think that that defense. I don't think that Tom's played against a defense like that this year yet. The Rams are good. Cooper Cup stays healthy. They have every weapon you could possibly have. They're going to be okay at running back. Cam Akers out for the season, but they're still going to be okay. And I just think Matthew Stafford just goes home every single night and just says, thank God. <laughs> I know to be out of Detroit. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, thank did you God. see Goff? Thank Goff God. looked like he wanted to quit football after that game last right? night, dude. He's like, right? I, am I really doing this? <laughs> Can I just be the guy that holds a clipboard and get paid like five mil a year? Can I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> be that guy now. Maybe that guy. Everyone likes that guy, the backup quarterback. Guys, be that guy. Enders, what do you got in the Rams, man? Um, I, I agree. I think uh, the Rams are. I, 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 Stafford is reborn. I think he is definitely refreshed. He's been in the league how many years? In Detroit, through the good, the bad, the worst, the horrible, the crap um, that could keep going. You yeah. Know, sorry for Goff to be out there now. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I think. With Stafford is just going to have that revitalization of his career, and it's going to be in LA. I yeah. think the Rams are a good home for him. I I think they, just, I wouldn't say destroy, but I think they uh, they go three and zero this weekend. I think yeah, they beat the like, look at all of us. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, Tony, what do you got in the Rams, dude? I like the Rams, man. <laughs> I like them. And honestly. I think they're gonna hit. They're gonna hit uh, Brady a lot. Yeah, I think. So I think. I think I they're think really gonna, gonna get to him. Brady. Yeah, I think. Actually, I'm saying oh, I think man. they they kind of get know, to. He him. can't hold up when he gets hit. I agree with you. I agree with you. Number one, Number one obviously though, is the Buccaneers right now. Until we'll see what happens next week. Right now, until I mean, next week. until next week. It's uh, you all heard what we said right now. We all we're all kind of on this Rams thing right now, which scares me because we're all kind of leading the same way. I know. Right? Uh, I thought it might be the only one here. So. Again, the Bucks right now, they got weapons all over the field. They got Tom Brady. They got a great defense. What can you say? Their running backs can be kind of situational, which kind of bothers me. Um, and sometimes they can leave Brady open to a hit, which I think that's going to happen this week. And you get a wrong read by a running back, and you have one of those Rams defenders coming around at full speed, taking shots at a, what is he, 43 now? What is, is he, 43? 44. 44. 44. Oh, my God. It's crazy. But I got the Bucks at one. I don't think anyone's going to going to test that until – uh, we play this weekend. So those have been our power rankings. Again, if you liked them, if you disliked them, make sure you let us know. We have a sports talk section in our Discord. Free, feel free to talk as much shit as you want inside there. Bring it all. I love it uh, as well. Make sure you get in our NFL contest 
Again, Expedition NFL in chat, $25 every single week to the winner. This week, uh, let me go see who won this week. We had IB yeah. split it with Madman. Um, let me find out who won week two here. I know it wasn't. Didn't I win? What's that? Yeah, you did, Tony. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, let me find out. Well, I'll find out the winner. I'm going to come back and grab the leaderboard, uh, and I'll, I'll announce the winners when we get back. When we get back, we got all of our picks. Week shot three, of week. shot of the week. Get your shots in. Enders, when we come back, we're just going to give a shot of the week. It's kind of like a toast. Uh, I take a little shot here. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can give a shot, though. Um, a toast if you had a good week, whether it's you, your wife, your friend, something happened good in your life that you just want to give a big shout out for. It doesn't matter. If you want to shit on somebody, be like, you know, my boss was a dick this week. We also do that, too. So whatever way you want to take it, you can. I can't say that in case he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's oh, I want to hear it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we'll be back right after this chat with our picks. We'll be right back. <laughs> Take it all in, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos. Where you go, every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights. Yeah, we are back. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome in. NFL Game Day Show sponsored by Manscaped. Make sure you get your Manscaped on men and women. Get all your bathroom, restroom products, beard products, and all 
right now manscape use code squad 20 percent off everybody 20 percent off right now use code squad also shot of the week brought to you by brought to you by colonel salty dog my man get all your salts and spices rub your meat today with Colonel Salty Dog right now. Bourbon smoked peppers, sea salts, garlic salts, everything you need in your kitchen to cook with. Yo, Ultra, what are you doing? Ultra, oh you're my fucking God. nuts. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing, you nutty? <laughs> fucking Ultra, dropping down a 10 bomb, dude. Bishop, thank you for the resub in eight months as well. I saw that, thank you so much. Yo, Ultra, thank you for the gift Ultra to the Nick God Twist. Gifted 10 subs Thunder to Buddy, Vape Dude, Hypnotic, The Pele, Jaken, Gobbler Scout, Dan the Fox, King Slayer, and uh, Schulted. Ultra, there's never any chill when Ultra is in your chat. I'll tell you that right now. Let me see some sub bombs in chat. Sub hypes in chat. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Can we get a shout out. Ultra's going to be coming up and streaming here soon, and Marbles as well. So let me get a shout out for Ultra. Uh, Golden God in chat, you freaking ridiculous human being. Thank you so much for the 10 ball, man. I appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Again, Sir Colonel Salty Dog, 10% off today. 10% off today. Use code, uh, what's, uh, whatever, exclamation salty in chat. I'll give you the code. I forgot the code is in chat. What is it? Uh, Sports Cap 10. There you go. Jesus. Oh, oh. Getting shot up right now. Here, pause is mad for his Ravens. I'm sorry. Sorry, Tony. Uh, time to mute the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not hype train oh. here. So, shot of the week brought to you by Colonel Salty Dog. Right now, as we're getting our shots up, I'm gonna go first here. My first shot is gonna go for uh, lovely anniversary. Gonna be celebrating on Thursday, 14 years. So I gotta give a shout out. 14 years. Thank you, Enders. I appreciate it. And a big shout out to my wife and everybody. Uh, we're going out on Thursday, so we have some fun time. Happy hour will be on Friday for this reason. So, a big shout out. 14 years coming in. Knocker, I will throw it to you. For shot of the week, is that what we're yeah, doing? Yeah, we're doing shots. Okay, I have three shots of the week. Okay. First shot of the week goes to the freaking Bulldogs from Fresno State. Finally coming down the 99 and the 5, landing in the Rose Bowl for the third straight year. And bam! Bam! It sucked for the Pac-12, but bam! The Bulldogs come back, scored 14 points late in the fourth quarter. Rip out a 40 to 37 win over the previously number 13 ranked UCLA Bruins. There you go, UCLA. How do you like that? How do you like that? Oh, Fresno Lord. State coming down, taking it to oh. you. And thank God, because they won me a parlay. Oh. <laughs> and the biggest, the biggest shot of the week, this kid right here went to Northern Arizona University, the home of the Lumberjacks. Yeah. And the Lumber Jills. Situated in There's a Lumber Jill. There's a Lumber Jill. That's a good... The girls are the Lumber Jills. Of course, <laughs> it makes sense. Lumber Jacks, like Lumber Jills. I like it. Makes NAU sense. Okay. goes down to freaking Tucson. God. Taking on the Arizona Wildcats. Another black eye for the Pac 12. And they beat them. They beat them. Division 2. Division 2 team. Big Sky Conference. They go down and beat them. It's like Montana beat Washington, but this was freaking NAU, baby. Go effing Jacks. And my number three shot of the week Chef is for my brother-in-law, Don Blaney, who went to Bakersfield, to where he dragged both races in the ninth, second class, 110 miles an hour. 11 boats in the tournament this weekend. He qualified number 10. He ended up winning. He took home the championship, running the final three races. The object of the race, if you don't know, you set your index. Nine seconds is your index. You try to hit nine seconds without going under it. So eight, nine, 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 you lose. You went under. He ran nine, zero, zero, two, three races in a row to take home the trophy. It was fucking awesome. The weather was awesome. Congratulations, Don. That's a big win. Way to go. Those nice, nice. Big shout out right now to Chef Travolta dropping a 25 bomb down in chat and chat for the Excuse freaking me? Patriots. Well, he said coming to season for every Pat's victory, 25 gifted subs. So wow. they came back. Pat's coming so back. You, so you're not going to get a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, we got we got a Jets fan in chat. You can, you're allowed to talk some smack. IB's in here too. IB's a big Patriots fan. He's in here too. 
<laughs> Yo, Bud King. That's Yo, right, late Ming, baby. Chef, thank Woo! you so much, bro, dude. Thank you. 25 gifted subs. You're nuts, dude. Let me see some sub bobs, sub hypes, and chat for my man, Chef. You fucking legend. Some Team Chef uh, emotes as well. Thank you so much. Night Owl. Shout out of the week. This Friday is the day I get to meet my daughter face-to-face. -face. Finally so excited, but also nervous. Big shout out, Night Owl. It's freaking awesome. Nice. Thank you, Sarita, for the shout out to Jackie in the 14 years. Chef, again, you fucking nutbag. Thank you so much. Uh, shot of the week goes for me for putting the Chiefs and uh, for, for putting up with the Chiefs and their bullshit. Show of the week goes to the to the what to the what you know what to the C H E. What's the Ch? I don't know what Ch. What C E H? I don't know. What, what that is that, is. Kevin? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Is that some calligraphy? I have no idea what that what that means. Um, oh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, the guy that. Oh, him. oh, Clyde, <laughs> like I'm supposed to know that guy by his right, acronym? Exactly. Like, oh yeah, I'm exactly. sorry, I didn't know what. I'm sorry, I didn't know what that acronym was. C E H. I, I should have known he was that. Talking about Che Guevara and the revolution. <laughs> Go Che. <laughs> uh, the running back. Yes, now I see that pause. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. That's what he meant by that. I'm not really sorry. I didn't know the Chiefs <laughs> lingo. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Chef. Seriously, again, thank you so much. Level five hype trainers to close it out, you all. Shout that we got. Appreciate. It. Enders, what you got? uh i i know this could be corny but i just want like you guys this community wow oh, thank you, you know brother, it, it's you. this being a part of this you know this has definitely already been a uh, fucking blast you know uh it, it, and there's the i Marvel's... love when there's cousins it's so oh, rare to tony tony <laughs> has right. it tony has yes. an audio of me doing it oh uh, i'm gonna need one for me i'm gonna need you i'm gonna need you a know, swear um, it just I know it might sound corny, but just you guys all, you know, from marbles to this, you know, the sports. And Appreciate you, brother. You, you guys have me here. You thank know, you, dude. I, I am doing what I do because of y'all. So thank you, brother. I appreciate oh, you. you. We appreciate you being here, man. Beautiful. You've done so much for the the marbles community itself. I mean, and and this channel as well. I know we've been known each other for a little while now, and done turn you know helping with tournaments and this and that. And I'd always, I'd we're always getting tattoos. Yeah, eventually. we're getting tattoos. I'm so super excited to get my first tattoo, and I'm gonna get the SCS. Tattooed on me for makeup partners can be fantastic. Again, we got to get Ender's a thousand marbles in MSLA. Tony's getting a go tattoo. Wow. There's just tats coming everywhere in marbles right it's now. It's all over the place. It's all, all over I can the say place. Is be careful. They are addicting. I mean, <laughs> arm. Just got this is my newest one. Yeah. You know, and you said it. you don't like needles, but you're like, it's not like you're like me. You didn't really, you're not a big needles guy, right? Obviously. So, but I'm not, I hate, hate getting shots. Yeah, I hate me getting too. shots. But this, it's just like a bad sunburn. That's it. That's okay. It. I can deal with that. I, a little, deal with I felt a little burn right when I got into <laughs> here, but the rest of this. <laughs> You can handle a needle jabbing you 10,000 fucking times with ink, but you can't handle a freaking a shot? shot. I know it's different. Oh, giving, it's a different pain. Yeah. The shot goes deeper. Yeah, it goes yeah, deeper. Goes exactly. Into your muscle, into your vein. The tattoo is just on the outside, little pricks. It goes into your epidermis. Uh, hey, enough about little pricks. Oh, Stop all right. It. Tony, <laughs> you're up. You're up. What do you got? You getting shots this week? I, I honestly, I have so many shots that I overdose on alcohol. <laughs> I have to give a shout out to the community for always supporting and coming by, even when, you know, we're not obviously streaming a lot this week. Yeah. But everyone still comes out, supports. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, it helps my sanity. Just listen to me bullshit constantly. You guys for being here for me and just everybody. Seriously, appreciate we're getting you, a dude. goat tattoo and it's just it's crazy. Appreciate it, you, so. dude. Like, yeah, it's like Chef says, literally everybody. Love you, Paisano. Thank you, uh, critical for the kind words. They're critical. <laughs> Uh, you got a uh, shout out there, Critical. Yeah, thing. Critical, thank you shot, so much, everybody. There you go. <laughs> uh, thank you so, so much, good. everybody in chat. Again, you guys are nuts. Again, Rack and Ultra. Everyone that just goes around, and not just this community, but everybody else is just goes and just spreads the loves and allows, you know, me and Tony and Enders and for us to do this for a living and, and do what we love. We, we, there's just no amount of thank you. We can always thank, you know, this community, what it's done for our lives. So I appreciate you all very, very much. Shots up to everybody. Here we go. We're going to get to our week three picks here knocker cheers up again thank you to colonel for my official maker's mark whiskey bottle that says sportscast squad on it cheers to you all and uh to a good night here you go. uh, hey enders was that infamil uh no this is just bullet bourbon <laughs> yeah what, what did you hit what did you have right now what, what was it
full of bourbon. Oh, nice. Oh, bourbon baby, guy. Nice. About. Let's, Let's go. go. That's, about. That's a Colonel's man in chat right there. I like it. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm all about bourbon and nice. Oh, give me my I, IPAs when it comes to beer yeah. and bourbon. Oh, Scotch I can whiskey. get out of here with your. Oh, what are you I drinking? Do Stop. IPAs. That's not beer. God, I don't know. Come IPAs on. Are. IPAs are so here we good. Go. If, if you say a here Corona we go, Tony, sit back, smoke little... again. <laughs> With a little fruity lime in it, go away. Get, get out of here with that Corona. Oh, get out of here. I mean, are you God. talking something like this? <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that is not beer. That is oh, water. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. I, I like love that it. IP. I want to feel the beer. I want, I, you know, I want to feel the beer. I want to feel the beer. <laughs> 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 fucking t-shirt. No, feel yeah, the beer. No, it's no, for Ender's face just on it. I want to feel the beer. I want to feel the beer. <laughs> a good friend of mine, he always jokes that he doesn't like Guinness because whenever he's had Guinness, he always Ooh. describes it as running through the forest with his mouth open. <laughs> Yeah, I can buy that. Yeah, on, on a, yeah. So that that was always his uh, his description. But no, uh, I used to hate IPAs. Now I love them. I can't get uh, enough of them. He's a Jets Why fan. Go? Of course he loves IPA from Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> You you uh, would think because I'm a NASCAR fan I'd be like uh, Bud Light Miller Yeah Light, yeah where you know? are you with the it's domestics like Come on I come on so much beer. Bud Light in high school <laughs> If you're in high school do not do do not do as I did uh, uh, You know uh, I drink so either. much Bud Light in high school That's all we ever bought uh, I, can, I see a Bud Light now and I just go oh. <laughs> He's like a bougie NASCAR fan uh, <laughs> He's a, He's a bougie NASCAR fan. <laughs> Everyone out there is popping Billy beers, yeah. and he's coming out with yeah. his IPA. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I'm good for you all. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I got the double IPA. It's got grassroots and fucking barley and all this other shit. <laughs> I love that commercial about IPAs. Uh, um, oh. Everyone's got cases of Budweiser. He's got a six-pack. He's like, this is enough for me. It's an IPA, baby. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Next time, uh, I, if, I, if I am invited back to this, I'm so going to like just have a nice big IP. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> oh, you know, you're coming to, back, Andrew. This is happening. To, to, to highlight the label and be like, today we're drinking an IP that's 9.4. We need to do beer dollars. testing with Ender's stream. It'd be so good. Oh, here's we my won't survive. Yeah, well, I'll do all the domestic tasting, and Ender's will do all the IPAs. Oh, yeah. Hey, Vinyl yeah, King, thank you so much. Every single one of them. Vinyl King, well, you just get to the sub to Coors Light sucks. I don't appreciate that at all. <laughs> By the way, hang on. Vinyl Record King, I hate you. Because you beat me. Wow. You No. Vinyl Record King is who I lost to this week in my in the MSLA Fantasy Ooh. League. By oh, point three. Oh, point my God. Three. So not only did I lose the first week by having the second most points, I now lost by point three. Three. Oh, wow. that 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 hurt. That that's worse. Oh, I love you, I'd rather I get blown you, out by forty points than lose by that. I really want. I love you, Vinyl. I love you, Vinyl. <laughs> the Vinyl's fantastic. He's fantastic. He's giving off some. He's All just right. doing the pixel. Hype, like. <laughs> I know. All right, let's get to our week three picks, boys. Here we go. Lock them in, everybody. Week three picks in exclamation NFL in chat. Lock them down. Here we go. Week three, baby. Get him ready. Lock and loaded, Thursday night football, coming in. It's gonna be a pretty good game here. Blow us down, put some background music on for us. We're gonna get locked and loaded here. We're gonna run through these boys, get ready. Mark them down as you go. We'll give you our, our uh, picks against the spread, as well as our picks straight up. The tournament we are running right now is straight up picks. So you don't have to be a gambling expert and be like, oh, what's the spreads mean? That's just so, if you wanna know the spreads, we'll tell you. We'll tell you our picks, also just our pick -ups. So here we go, chat. First game up on the list here is going to be the Panthers and the Texans here, Knocker. Panthers coming off a big win over the Saints last week. They're 2-0 now. Again, Christian McCaffrey, who I think is the most dynamic player in football. He's absolutely amazing to watch. Sam Darnold seems to have settled in, Knocker. He's, uh, he had a huge game last week. Five? He's thrown for 584 yards already this season, Knocker. It's insane. Um, and three touchdowns. Have playing well with the Panthers. Texans right now at home. Won the first week over Jacksonville. Came back this and got uh, got got smacked around by a little bit by the Browns here, Knocker. Carolina is favored by eight on the road going into this game. What do you got, Carolina and the Texans here? 
a lot of points. That that's a lot of points in an NFL game, especially for a roadie. Um, Carolina is going to win the game. They're just a better football team. Yeah. Uh, I I think changing coaches, they change coaches at the right time. Uh, Rule, Rule's a pretty good coach, man. I, I think he's going to have that team winning winning a lot of football games. Um, they look good. They look solid. Uh, you definitely have to go for me. You definitely have to go with uh, Carolina. Although te- Houston's not a horrible football team, like everyone's trying to say they are. Yeah. But um, Carolina goes in and wins this game. But did they win it by eight on the road? I don't know if I touched that one. All right, all right. What do you got, Knocker? Uh, I mean, what do you got, Enders, on this one? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Carolina also. Uh, I think again, I'm Sam Darnold. Uh, I'm a fan of his. I think he's going to do great things in Carolina, especially now that he's matched back up with Robbie Anderson, yep. who was uh, uh, hit, was always his go-to target mm-hmm. when they were both Jets. Yep. So having them linked together, the new coach, uh, I think Sam Darnold might have found his permanent home. I think with the Carolina Panthers. So yeah, uh, yeah I'm definitely going Carolina with this one. All right, Tony, what do you got? Panthers, Texans, Thursday night football. What do you got? Texans, boom, bucket. Oh, I fucking love Tony, oh, man. Love it. Love bucket. Love it. He just at he, least by a field goal. At, <laughs> at least by a field goal. I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm gonna go in the pan- in, I'm gonna go with the Panthers here, but it's gonna be a really close game. I, I don't think I think the Texans can can stick with them here, and the Panthers on the road here. You're looking for a letdown game at some point here at the Panthers, and I'm not saying that this is gonna be it, but I think it's gonna be a very close game within six points here. I like Carolina to win this game 31-24 over the Texans uh, on Thursday night football. Um, next game up here, we've got the team of Washington coming into Buffalo here, Knocker. The 1-1 one one Bills against the 1-1 one one Washington team of Washington, I should say. Buffalo's favored by 8.5. Another big spread here. 8.5 points by Buffalo coming off that shutout of Miami Bills. Washington, what do you got, Knocker? Wow, I think I think Vegas is a little over impressed with the um, Miami win, uh, considering Tua went down. Um, but still, uh, yeah, dude, uh, just Washington, it's just not happening. Um, there's just not enough offense uh, for them to keep up. I think actually uh, Buffalo covers on this. I think they're going to go on a roll for really? the next five or six games. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big one here. What do you got, Enders, Bills, and Washington? Uh- uh, I'm going Bills also. I think even though Taylor uh, what, Heineke had a great game, great mm-hmm. game against uh, New York. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I feel the Bills are just a way stronger team. I think Washington still has a lot of work they need to do. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going Bills. Going Bills. What do you got, Tony? Oh, Bills all the way. I don't even know why we talked about this. <laughs> I love it. Well, we I mean, they he barely go. beat the Giants, right? Yeah. Washington. Let's go. Come I like on. it. Yeah, I think the Bills. I think the Bills get the best of that. Watch. I think. I think that Bills Mafia at home. You know, they're throwing people into on the tables that are lit on fire. There's videos like of last week that's insane, dude. Right? Bills Mafia wow. is a different breed. They're, they're just. They are completely nuts. I would love just to go and dress up and build stuff and walk just through the parking lot. Like just want just to see the the craziness <laughs> that happens. Uh, but the really Bills big. here at home, I think they're going to get the best of Washington here. And again, that quarterback, Heineke, who's had a good start to the season, but I think that Bills defense just swallows them up here. I think they win by double digits in this one. Um, I'm going to give a 30 to 17 score over at Washington in this one. Next game up I here, like Knocker. Uh, next game up here, we've got the Browns, your Brownies at home, one and one against the Bears, one and one here. Okay. Um, Baker Mayfield turned around last week and uh having a good game chubb running the football as well browns at home in this one favored by a touchdown man these spreads right now just crazy uh favored by a touchdown bears browns what do you got well andy dalton got hurt right so so justin fields is now the quarterback correct uh, in chicago correct correct but yeah yeah yeah. you're good well you gotta go cleveland all the way you you just gotta go cleveland i think you go cleveland no matter what i mean i don't think it's it's... absolutely and do they cover i I think they win by 10 yes Ooh, all right enders what do you got uh this is going to be my one upset i think of the week (laughs) i think the bears are going to take this one i think some injuries on the brown side you got baker mayfield's gonna have a great game but i just i wow Bold I'm call right bears. now. Wow. Bold I'm, call I'm by the Bears. The Bears. The, the bears. bears, baby. The uh, bears. Tony, what you got, bro? I, I think it's going to be Vegas is saying, what, a touchdown for yeah. the Browns? Yeah. I think the Bears win by a touchdown. Ooh, he's going what? with Enders in this. And Enders and Tony both on the upset train here. I got the Browns in this one. Um, I think it's right at that seven line. Um, I like the Browns to win this one 27-20 over 
the Bears in this one. Uh, next game up in the morning, we've got the winless Lions 0-2. Oh, man, Jared Goff just looks like he's in a complete hell <laughs> right now. Uh, the Ravens coming off that win. Oh, Lord. Uh, this week, our one and one coming into the season, Knocker um, turned around last week. I just think this is the Lions are just set to just get drilled in this one, Knocker. I think the Ravens come out and absolutely smack around the Lions in this one. They have no answer for Lamar Jackson. He just runs all over the field. I like Ravens big in this one. I like him 35 17 over the Lions. Yeah, I, I think one of the best spread is eight and a half uh, for Baltimore. One of the best combos in the NFL is going to be Hollywood Brown and, and Lamar Jackson. It's just percolating and it's 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 getting better every single time they play uh they have a really good tight end um the the the, the lions are the lions they they don't play well on the road mm -hmm. and they play like shit on uh on home. grass i mean yeah. it's not really grass but still um outdoor stadium on the road they no, they're at home chance. lions are at home oh i thought you said the lions were no. at no at lions are at home well, they'll play a little better, but the Ravens will still beat them. Uh, it's, yeah. This is, you talk about a letdown game, yeah. opening on the road with the Raiders in a great football game, then you get the Chiefs, and then you go into Detroit. Yeah, they just want to open the can of whoop-ass right now. That they're going to... You know, I you know I don't I don't know. I think this is a game where they could stub their toe. I'm going to go oh. with with the Ravens, but I'm certainly not going to do anything with that point spread. All I right. just these are these are the type of games in the NFL where you end up just scratching your head. I like, think well, this is just where happen? the Ravens feast. They're, they played two really tough teams, and I think they just let it loose in this one. What do you got, Enders? I think, okay. Uh, I I think the Ravens got it. I yeah. mean, it's, they're the Lions. They're Detroit. Goff doesn't want to be there <laughs> he, <laughs> so he, he's he's pissed so off he went from obvious. los angeles to know. detroit <laughs> you know he he's just yep. i think the ravens just like you you, you were saying you got uh, you know lamar and um marquise they're just yeah. gonna hook up and continue to roll yeah i, I think, think the ravens are still gonna do a lot but they're the lions aren't even gonna be a contest yeah i agree with you tony ravens lions we're gonna obviously we're gonna go with the Ravens. I don't think the Lions even get a win this season. Ooh! Wow. You heard it here first. God damn! I like it. Tell me uh, that's been blown. said before. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, it wouldn't be the first. Yeah, time. we actually all go ooh, but it's like when you think about it, you're like it actually could happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually a good possibility it could happen. Um, all right, next game up here, Knocker. Uh, this game actually should be pretty good. The Colts are zero two, but the Colts have played pretty well in those two losses, Knocker. Um, the the Titans won and won again somehow some way found a way to come back in that fourth quarter against the Seahawks last week, and Derrick Henry after week one fancy people were pulling their hair out after week one he comes back and blows away everybody in week two here um, with a huge game Titans at home favored by five over the Colts here Knocker what do you got Yeah and unfortunately for the Colts man they've just drawn the the, the short straw on the Wentz schedule, is terrible man. Wentz is absolute trash too by like I I I, I just hurts to watch play Well he's not a shitty team well it's not a shitty team excuse me they have a really good defense I'm sorry Colts you aren't a shitty team I'm I had a brain fart right there but you know they just have a tough opening stretch man the Colts just have they a did. tough opening stretch They did and and Tennessee with that win coming back to the home crowd uh they win this game absolutely yep. what do you got enders uh well yeah I, I gotta go titans i think derrick henry had the bad week and just whooped last week yeah uh, you got carson wentz who uh, is he even gonna play I, I thought he was injured yeah he got uh, he got banged up who even knows at this point with it? it's just he, his ribs yeah. i heard his ribs just got destroyed um and both ankles yep and both, both ankles, ankles. Yeah. yeah he's he, right. i just i think right now tennessee is definitely gonna you know have have this one i think so, they actually unfortunately, cut, yeah. unfortunately the colts are own three yeah i think they cover the spread too i might i think tennessee wins by seven or ten points in this game i think it's like a 33 20 type of game here i think they really get opened up here at home coming off and feed off that momentum uh beating the seahawks last week tony what do you got titans colts in this one i gotta take the titans even though it should be two oh and two teams playing yeah it, it right? should I think the titans yeah. they all they have a big head right now for yeah. winning yep you know pulling that off and i think they're gonna take this one yeah carry the momentum i'm with least. you i'm with you this they, is gonna they, be um, go what be more pies um that happened to me once in hong kong um but that's another story we'll have to talk about that in private okay okay, okay. you sprain both your ankles at the same time <laughs> oh good god I, I sprained mine at twitch i sprained mine at twitchcon berlin <laughs> did you really I, 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 I sprained one at twitchcon berlin oh you went to twitchcon berlin? berlin that's crazy our last our, our second to last night there i just i don't remember it let me put that <laughs> way. I, I, 
That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, Enders. I Let's go. Once in Hong Kong, and I really don't want to talk about it on the air, uh, but it's possible. It is possible. Enders doesn't. <laughs> oh, I love you, Enders. Fucking love you, dude. This is gonna be a, a big game in the morning here. Chargers one and one here, Knocker. Nice. Again, losing to my Cowboys last week on that last second field goal. Uh, yeah, I still think they're one a, a good. I think they're top fifteen team here. The Chargers. I, I love their quarterback, uh, Justin Herbert. He's absolutely Herbert. fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Chiefs here coming off again of that loss, which I believe they should be two and zero. But hey, they end up losing the game. I think it's a big bounce back game here. I think it's gonna be close though. Uh, both these two teams uh, can sling the ball around. Casey's favored by six and a half, which I think is the right number in this one. I'm gonna take the Chiefs 31-24 over the Chargers. Where's the game? In Kansas City. Right, then I'm going Kansas City. <laughs> All right, I like it. I, if the game was in, if the game was in LA, I might actually take the Chargers in this one. Okay. Seriously. All right. They're 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 a pretty good football team. Uh, but I'm really, you know, actually, you know, you mentioned the the Cowboys. I'm really kind of surprised you don't have them in your top ten. Really. They're in number I mean, eleven. They're in number okay, eleven. There you go. If they okay, win this okay. week and beat the Eagles on Monday Night Football, then I'll be like, okay, we, that, you know what I mean. I'll I'll, I'll put them up in there. So I want to see what they do one more week. You. But yeah, Kansas City at home after that stinging loss, I think they write the ship and okay, uh, and they and they win this one. Enders, what you got? Yeah, I agree. I think uh, while Herbie's a great quarterback, I just uh, and the Chargers, I think are going to have a great year. I just don't think they have what it. It's going to take to beat the Chiefs, especially after the Chiefs yeah. lost that heartbreaker yeah. in Kansas City. Exactly. So, I'm with uh, you on yeah, that. I, I got to go. I got to go Chiefs. Uh, what do you got, uh, Tony? Chiefs Chargers here. I got Chiefs bouncing back, getting that win this week coming All right. by a field goal. I like it. I right. like it by a field like goal. That. Here we go. Next game up here. Another morning slate game. New Orleans Saints 1-1 one one here against chef travolta and ib's patriots and whoever else is from boston in chat that's a patriots fan patriots here one and one here knocker mac jones still he's got one touchdown on the year 467 yards so i mean they're they're, they're using him very very carefully even though their offensive coach says no they're, they're not, there's no handcuffs on him but obviously rookie quarterback you're gonna have some restraints uh harris off to a decent start as well but the saints here coming off the uh bad loss here knocker getting smacked around by the panthers can Jameis winston come in to New England and take out the Patriots here, which I think is going to be a really good game. Patriots fair by field goal. Vegas sees this as a pretty even game here. What do you got? Yeah, obviously Vegas sees this as a toss-up. Again, you have an indoor team um, that loves to play at home, going outdoors. Uh, I, I'm kind of think it's going to be a really close game because yeah. the defense is still no joke. Um, I, I think uh, just Belichick will out-scheme. Uh, we'll just have some really good schemes to prevent Jameis uh, uh, from doing his thing. Um, I predict at least two interceptions uh, and maybe a fumble by Jameis in, in this one, and that's why the Patriots will win based on turnovers. I like it. Enders, what do you got? Uh, it's definitely a close game. I, I did a lot of looking into this, and yeah. um, I wouldn't even call this much of an upset like the other pick I made, but I think the Saints might be able to pull it off. I think wow, okay. uh, Jones is still a rookie. You know, he had a great week last week. He did. Um, I just I, I I gotta put a little faith behind the Saints on this one. Um, I just I, it's a close game. I I don't. It could be yeah. won by yeah. a field goal. You know, Absolutely. it could come down to the last minute. I, I you know, it's kind of just throwing. Yeah, a dart like at if the, the Saints come out point. Sunday and they end up winning by a touchdown, it's not like I'm gonna be surprised. Like, oh my God, look what the Saints did. It's like I'm not gonna yeah, come it, out of Sunday. It, no matter who wins, it's not a blowout. Yeah. I think it's just a close game, yep. and it's just going to be the better call in the. I end, agree really. with you. I kind of, I'm just, I'm not great. Kind of hit the uh, nail on the head for me as well. I think that Belichick for me is just going to out scheme Jameis Winston in this one and, and get him to create some turnovers here. And as long as Mac Jones holds the football and, and doesn't fumble to throw an interception, I think the Patriots win a very, very close game in this one. I think it's 24-20 Patriots. Uh, over the Saints. What do you got? Tony's shaking his head. He's not liking my pick. What do you got, Tony? I'm thinking the Saints are going to pull this off, and I think it's going to be uh, by two touchdowns. <laughs> I think the Pats are going to shoot. Damn. 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 Your balls are Damn. I like your book. It's Saints by two TDs over the Patriots. I like it. All right. Well, we got two. A couple more morning games here. We got the Falcons. Oh, and two. God damn, this game sucks. Falcons 0-2 <laughs> gets the 0-2 Giants, the blackout game of the week. Just, oh, they don't even have this one on. God, God, don't Giants care. favored by three. Yeah, the oh my God, who the hell cares game of the week. Falcons on the road against the winless Giants. Both these teams looking for the first win. Someone's going to get it here, Knocker, but who's it going to be? Giants favored by three. Watch it end in a tie. 
<laughs> a 6-6 tie. Uh, I can see a 6-6 six, six tie just as clear as anything. <laughs> Actually, I think Atlanta woke up last week. They threw some points uh, up up on the board. Um, and the Giants, just they just can't seem to score. They just they just can't seem to score enough points yeah. to win. I, you know, it's tough to beat the Giants at home, but I, I think I'm actually going to go uh, oh, with Rody on this one. Wow. I, I will never, ever, ever pick the Atlanta Falcons again. I, I just, I am so done with oh. picking that team. They screw you over every goddamn week. Right? It's ever like since the, Dame, right? Yes, it's like ever <laughs> since the 28 and 3, something has happened to that team and they'll never recover from it again. I, I, I hate. Danny is not diamond. Danny is a dumpster fire, but I'm going to take the dumpster fire at home here. I Whoa. like the Giants actually to get their first win of the season here in a very sloppy game. Um, I like it. 2017 Giants. Enders, what do you got in this one? I got to go with the Dirty Birds. Oh, 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 all right. All right. God. Oh. I just, I, I, I agree. I just think both teams suck. They suck. They're bad. so bad. I don't think they're as bad as Detroit right now, but they're just, uh, it's sadly one of these teams is going to go one and two. Yeah, I know. Right? You know like, like somebody know, right? has to win this game. go zero oh and four for a bit. <laughs> yes. they, they need to lose a lot more. Yeah. Uh, I I'll, just, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. with you. I, it, it's almost a flip of a coin, but I got to go with the Falcons, <laughs> even though it's in New York. I, I got to go. All Falcons. right, Tony, what you got? You're sitting there in New York right now in the Listen, stadium, first dude. First of all, wait, yeah, wait, I'm waiting for the game already. Everyone's here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you got Jets in the end zone there. You got yeah. Jets painted on the end zone. Just, oh, oh Giants are there. Oh, you're, head. you're covering that. That's what you're doing. Well, I covered it, you know, you like the Jets. Uh, you know, he, he chose a, a side. He chose a side. <laughs> but I think I think the Giants should be 1-1. One and one. I think that they lost that game, but they shouldn't have. So I, I got them winning this week. All right, I like it. Me and you on the Giants. Okay. Here we go. Next All game right. up here. I like there's a lot of divisional matchups this week, and here's another one here. Steelers Bengals gonna be a good game here. Uh, Joe Burrows versus Ben Rosberger. Ben came out and said he just got to be better and play better. And I, I, I've been, I think ben, Big Ben's been washed up for the last couple of years here. I think that they're getting, they're milking every single little last thing they can get out of him. And I don't think he has enough this year in the tank to get him to where they want to be. Uh, the Bengals, oh man, I, I really had high hopes again coming into week two with them after that week one yeah, win. Too. And then again, then they shit the bed on you as the Bengals will always do. Steelers at home, I, I just can't see them losing two games in a row at home. Um, I'm going to have the Steelers here. They're fair by three and a half. I think it's a great game. I've got Steelers 27-24 over the Bengals here in a very, very close game. Very disappointed. Very disappointed in the Bengals. Me too. Week. Yeah. Very disappointed. Me you too. Had, to not beat the Bears? Come chance, on. You had a chance to make a statement. And you fucked it up again. You fucked it up again. Wait, they, okay, hang on. We go. got we got news in chat. Big Ben is questionable. Has left pectoral injury. So okay, that does yeah, change things. I, I saw that, and that I might did not know that for like the past five years. Though I didn't right? know that. I, I was gonna say that might be actually a good thing for the Steelers. To be honest. <laughs> He's used to that, right? That might that might be a good thing. Um, I just you know, I, I just sorely disappointed in the Bengals. I really yeah. was let down. Um, the Steelers losing to the Raiders, they'll kind of open my eyes. I'm really not sure what you're going to get from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Me neither. Yeah. Um, but at home. It's against, me. It's against at home, the, you know. Did the, the Steelers lose twice at home? I mean. Right. A against a perennial team that they just beat. Somehow they always beat. Yeah. So you got to go up with Pittsburgh. But I think this is just an ugly, ugly ass game. Man, I'm going to. My decision, it. I'll say this too. My if Big Ben doesn't play, I'm going Bengals. Like if I if oh, I find out before not, the game, and I'm I don't care if you guys okay, you can't do it. You gotta make a pick. No, I'm gonna. You're allowed to change your pick. I'm if I find out well, course, that the Ben Roethlisberger is not playing or is is playing at seventy percent, I very my wallet take the Bengals. With me, all things considering, if Big Ben is relatively healthy, I'm gonna take the Steelers at home in this one. And Enders, what do you got? Uh, I, like now that you said it, I'm gonna echo that statement. I'm gonna take the Steelers, but leading up to that game, if I you know we find out that Ben's playing playing still hurt with a pectoral injury yeah. or not playing at all then i'm gonna swap to the Bengals. Yep. Um, all right. and, um yeah that's uh yeah that's a hard one yeah, it's it gonna all be depends a, on the injury report yeah I mean, that's gonna be a big pickums game here for everybody that's like a 50 50 basically that's when you're gonna have to here. make sure you are at a computer yeah. and paying exactly. attention. Right. Game time. Exactly. <laughs> you know five yeah. minutes beforehand yeah. hit that button right. hit that yeah. switch right. if needed yeah because you can go uh, in I'm, on the picks yeah enders is right you can go in literally five minutes before the game and switch your pick yeah until kickoff and make you make your pick that's the beauty of it yeah i'm i'm picking the steelers but again i will be watching it and you know if yeah if you get more news i will swap. make a sweat what do you got tony uh steelers Bengals here in this one 
Honestly, if Ben's playing hurt, I think he's so used to playing hurt. Right? That he, that he he comes out and they win this. But if he doesn't play the Bengals 100%, I'm yeah. with you guys on All right, that. I'm with you as well. Here we go. All right, here we go. I think this is going to be... Um, I don't know if this is a trap game to me. It has trap written all over it, but I do think Cardinals on the road against the Jags here. It's 2-0 Cardinals, 0-2 Jags. It's like Cardinals are 2-0. You're feeling good about the offense. Arizona's fair by seven. Is this a stub your toe game? That West Coast team traveling all the way down for that early game on the East Coast here. Cardinals on the road, favored by a touchdown. Touchdown and a half in this. Uh, 7.5, that is. Uh, over the Bengals here, Knocker. What do you got? Cardinals, Jags here. Oh, you know who I have. I, I, I think Urban Meyer, even though he stated, I'm not interested in that USC job. I, I, you don't come. I'm here to build something. Well, you know what? Nick Saban said the same thing and a couple other coaches. They opened that checkbook. You're gone. You're absolutely gone in coaching at USC. Yeah. Um, I, I think Arizona comes in and drops a 40 spot Damn. on the Jaguars. I'm looking at 40 to 13. Oh, my God. An ass spanking. What do you got in there? Are you going to echo that? Uh, I think Trevor Lawrence is a bust. Ooh! So I, I, wow. I think he is going to just be in the league a couple of years, and then he's going to be the third, Woo! second, third spring somewhere. Wow. So uh, wow. I got to go with Arizona on this one. Uh, because also I really dislike Clemson. Moving on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Uh, there the it truth is. The, the truth of that comes statement. out. <laughs> uh, Tony, what do you got, dude? Uh, Cardinals, Jags. I think this is going to be the upset game. I think the Jags come out, they bounce back, and they get this win. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to go in the Cardinals here. I think it's a. Uh, I, again, I, I think they might stub their toe, but it's going to be really hard for them to do that. I mean, a lot of things would have to go wrong for the Cardinals lose this game. With that being said, I'm going to go with the Cardinals uh, in at least a double-digit win here. 35-23 over the Jaguars in this one. I think they cover the spread as well. Um, uh, as Tony, we, go for it. do we put a Jackson on this, bro? What did you just say? No, you're not. No, they, 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 but it no Jackson. I didn't say. I just said they're gonna win, guys. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, my mouth. yeah. Oh no, I'm, well, I don't, I don't hear very well. So I'm, I'm just asking. God, so, Josh, you don't want me to make bets on the air? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Right I don't now? want you to make bets that you, you no. You're not allowed to do that. Bets have to be done in Discord only. Well, I just made a bet last week, and Tony paid. <laughs> of course, he Tony, paid on your show. He paid on your show and not my show, which we really have to talk well, that, to him about. That was the little zing. You might have won. That was the little zing. The yeah, Tony, right, thank you, baby. I, I went to Jersey. <laughs> I, I went to Jersey Mike's that day. Thanks, Tony. All right. Uh, the afternoon go. games. Knocker, uh, if you guys don't miss it, uh, after this right now, uh, Knocker is going to be streaming marbles for a couple hours after the show. So if you guys want to stick around, get those 20 races in as well or more. Uh, Knocker will be running at least a couple Grand Prix after this. So uh, afternoon games here. Uh, we've got the Jets. Your Jets right here. The J-E-T-S Jets, -E Jets, 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 Jets. <laughs> Against the 2-0 Broncos, dude. The Broncos what? are 2-0. Really? Broncos are 2-0. They're favored by 10. What a slap in the face. They're 10 and a half. 10 <laughs> on the road? No, the Broncos are at oh, home. They're at home. Yeah, they're at home. Favored they're by home. 10 and a half. Jets on the road in this one. Tay Bridgewater having a decent season for the Broncos here. Four TDs in, in the last couple games. Um, and they got a good uh, wide receiver in Sutton. Um, man, Broncos at home, Knocker. What do you got here at the Jets? Uh, Cam, you got to be loving what's going on. I've always been a Teddy Bridgewater fan. You know that, Josh, from day yeah. one. I told you coming out of Louisville, this dude is the real deal. Horrific, horrific injury. Um, I think they have a real quarterback there. Um, I'm not sure if they can run through the uh, division with the team that they have but outside the division i think i think they're gonna do very well and and fuck it's the fucking jets so of course denver's gonna win <laughs> yeah the broncos are that the broncos are that <laughs> the broncos are that team this year that you just don't kind of want to play because they could just surprise you and beat right? you on any exactly. given sunday you're as the exactly movie would right. say um i'm gonna go with the broncos to get it done here uh, as well at home i mean i gotta see something out of the jets before i could take the jets in any football game right now uh, Broncos at home get this done 27 17 over the Jets. Enders, what you got? You taking your home team here? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 okay, I hope I am That's upset. I, I, right there. I hope yeah. that the Jets come out and squeak a victory out. Yeah. But I just, I, I still need to see more out of them. I need to see, you know, Zach Wilson, you know, just 
get beat up a little bit more. I want I want to see that happen. I like yeah. I like all rookie quarterbacks to be get beat up. I don't want to see them just go out and you yeah. know bomb it and you know go to the Super Bowl. They got to get their no, nicks and bruises, them, earn their stripes, I want them yeah. get their ass whipped. Yeah, um, earn their stripes. And yeah. he, he Zach Wilson got his ass whipped last week. Yeah, I I don't think. Uh, that's done yet. I think the Broncos are going to um, definitely take it. I think the Jets are, you know, they're they're gonna. I mean, what? They're stop it. Just they're stop. against a team. Right <laughs> okay. The Jets will win Week Five against the Falcons. They'll win against the Falcons in Week Five. So I, I gotta uh, go Broncos. I love you, I gotta what do you, go Broncos. What do you, what do you got, Tony? But, but still, yeah. I'm a diehard Jets. Hey, I still represent. But, you still gotta represent. I'm locking. I'm locking mine in right now. What do you got? What do you go? Uh, the Jets. By a field goal. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, Jets by, you, Tony. If Tony oh. comes back and the Jets win by a field goal, you're gonna look like a fucking genius. Oh, dude, I will uh, love you, Tony. <laughs> I will stroke the beard. I, I will. You know, I think it's their week, and I think it's their week. Seriously. Oh, uh, it's fantastic. Wow, oh, it's fantastic. I love it. Next game up here is gonna be a good one. Here, um, we've got. The Dolphins on the road against the Raiders. Can the Raiders go 3-0 and here? They're going to be at home. Dolphins are going to be with uh, their backup quarterback. And the Raiders here, I think they win this one going away. I just think the Dolphins are an absolute mess right now. I know that they, 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 they things ended up so well last year for them. I just feel like they're kind of, you know, regressing here. I, I never thought Tua was going to be the guy that would do anything for them. I've never been a big Tua fan uh, for that reason. Why? Because he can't stay on the football field. And so... I've got the Raiders here at home. They're favored by only a field goal in this one. Um, I've got the Raiders actually to cover that, and they win by about 10 points. I'm going to take the Raiders 31-17 over the Dolphins. Absolute great rivalry um, in, in the day. Absolute one of the best rivalries. Raiders, Dolphins, Raiders, um, um, Steelers in the playoffs, at, you know, back in the 70s, early 80s. It, it, those were the three teams that ruled the AFC. Um you're right, Josh. You know, I've always said once you get on that injury train, you don't get off. Yeah. And and this is what one. You know, he lost a year at Alabama. He got hurt at Alabama. Mm -hmm. He's gotten hurt in what? He's had what? Maybe twelve starts, and he's yeah. been hurt twice already. Yeah. Um. You know, I just think, like you said, like uh, he he just might be frail and prone to injuries, man, which sucks because you know I like the way he plays the game. But um, the, the Dolphins traveling out west. You know, playing in in the madhouse. I mean, the the, the fans, that place is going to go crazy on the Sunday. Yeah. Fans at Allegiant yeah. Stadium, the the first game were absolutely freaking incredible. And now they have a chance and, to go and, three and zero. Oh, now you know? they have a chance to go three and zero oh and do something no. this year. I think it's just going to be an absolute frenzy. And, and uh, uh, I think the Raiders win. You know, by a good eight or nine points. Anders, what you got? Well, it's not shocking to hear in Alabama. You know quarterback in injury <laughs> um, you know uh wow. yo where's real professor where's he at i definitely got to go with the raiders on this one i just i think the dolphins okay I, i'm a big fan of fitz magic i yeah. know he's injured he got injured on washington yeah. i'm a big fan of fitz magic i think the dolphins should have kept him me too another another year or so work with tua because you know fitzpatrick is a journeyman just mm -hmm. like mccallan was and i just think he would have been even more helpful for he's the a young, smart guy too he's like a harvard grad or something too yeah, i think he, yeah he, he he brings so much and i think the dolphins just got rid of him and you know unfortunately got hurt but i i just i yeah dolphins i think with two are injury prone raiders are on a streak right now yep. it's at home you know, John Gruden's got that team going. Derek Carr, as long as he stays healthy, yeah, you're gonna have the Raiders. Like I, we were saying earlier, they're gonna shock some people this season. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely Raiders easy zone. pick. Yeah. Easy pick, Raiders. I agree with you. Uh, what do you got, Tony? Raiders, Dolphins. This one. Yeah, I got Raiders. I think it's gonna be a high-scoring game by the Raiders. Yep. Agree and uh, like I said, you know. Dolphins just don't have it this season yeah. at all. Yeah, sorry, Gooch Spot. I'm sorry. You know, you, you might as well wait for the hockey season and the Panthers to get going. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going to be a good game here. I wow. might I, I might be at this game Sunday. Buccaneers 2 0 against the Rams 2 0 here. Uh, Vegas has this pretty much as an even spread. You might get a point with the Rams just depending on where you, you place your bet at, but it's basically an even game here. The over under set of 55, which, you know, big points with respect to be scored. Uh, with both these offenses, um, we talked about it a little bit going into into our power rankings here. I'm a I, I'm a big Rams believer this year. I think Stafford has been the reason that the been the answer 
for the Rams that they've needed over these last couple of years since that Super Bowl run. I never was a big believer in Goff. I never, I didn't think he's big enough to play in the NFL. I don't, I don't think he has the right. He reminds me of a really shaky, um, really shaky uh, Derek Carr. It was, uh, it's like a, a poor man's Derek Carr in a way. I'm sorry, Raider fans, but um, wow, I, I, I am. I just, I just, I'm not ever was a believer in Goff, and I think Stafford has really stepped in there, and you're seeing what. An athlete can do when you take them out of a toxic situation and you put them in a good situation with players around them, athletes will succeed and, and players will turn it on and there's new life, new blood, new energy. And you're seeing that in Stafford. This Rams defense is really good. I know the Bucks defense is really good. This is just going to be a great game to watch or be at. Uh, I'm going to go with the Rams in a very close game with the upset here. I'm going to go Rams 31-30 over the Bucks here. I like game of the week. Definitely highlight game of the week. I love the fact that, that 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 the Rams finally listened to me. I told you not to draft him. I told you don't draft this guy. He's not the guy. I told you that. But it took you three years. But at least what I like about the Rams is they pulled the trigger. They're not afraid. The Rams front office in the past yeah. has been afraid to do things like this. And, and I really love the fact that they're they're willing to just say, okay, that didn't work. We're not going to wait two or three more years to see if we can fix it. F that. We're going to go get a guy who's still got three years left in the tank, who's dying to to, to, to play, who's dying to play for a winner. Um, and they got that in Matthew Stafford. He's tough as freaking nails. Now, you know, I'm, I, I, I don't mean to belittle Goff. But, I, I, you know, he, to me, he's just not the guy. I didn't like him at Cal. I saw a lot of games that he played in. I don't think he's a leader. Uh, I think he's a leader when he's ahead. But when they get behind, he starts to meet. He starts to whine. I think you saw that um, on Monday when yeah. things started to go wrong. Um, I, I I love Matthew Stafford. I love I loved him at Georgia. I loved him when he came out. But you're right, Josh. You got to get all the quarterbacks in the NFL. They're good. You can't say they're not good. They're starting quarterbacks in the mm -hmm. NFL. Yeah. There's only 32. You're the elite of the league. Even spots, Goff, right? as much as we're shitting on Goff, the guys in the top 50 in the world of quarterbacks. I mean, exactly. So, you know. so, you know, they're elite. It's just some of them get on teams that just suck, yeah. and they always suck, and they're still going to suck. Yeah. It depends on who's around you. I mean, you know, you throw you throw one of these guys in Kansas City, they still probably succeed. Yeah. Maybe not the same way, but they still they will be winners. Yeah. Um, but, uh, God, this is such a good football game. Yeah. It's such a good game. What do you got? Um, I'm going to go to the Rams in a squeaker. All right, what do you got, Enders? Um, I got to go Rams, and that's, uh, you know, you have Tom Brady, who's well go up there, but still... You can never count out Tom Brady. Yeah, you give him the ball with a minute. You yeah. have him, Mike Evans. You got Gronkowski. Antonio Brown. So he's got weapons uh, all over the he's place. He's got yeah. weapons that you know the the Tampa Bay is. I think I don't know on average, but they might be one of the oldest team offenses on the field. Veteran teams, um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, veteran teams. Yeah. So you have that going for them. You have Tom Brady, who is Tom Brady. I don't like him, but he is probably the greatest of all time when it comes to what he does. But I gotta go Rams just because I, I like the battle. It's gonna be a close. It's game. gonna be so good. Yeah. It's gonna be a nail biter. Yeah. Uh, if I lose this and the Buccaneers win, I'm not gonna be angry or sad no shame. because all right, no shame. I, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. I yeah. mean, we all want good football. Yeah. You know, it's good and game. it's gonna be definitely a big talk. To, it's yeah. probably the biggest talked about game of the week. I, yeah, and I think like Tony said earlier, I think this is the game that Brady though gets knocked around a little bit. I just think this yeah. is the game he gets a little tossed around and. And probably, you know, maybe throws one of those flying ducks he's been known to throw from time to time. Or he, he he can throw a bad interception. Tom's not perfect. Like, Tom has had some bad turnovers in his day. I think that's what the Rams get him. Tony, we all are we all sweeping the Rams here? Um, yeah, I'm going, I, I told you the Rams, I think, are going to win the Super Bowl. Damn, let's go. <laughs> Colonel says you're all fucking stoned. <laughs> I know, Colonel is screaming right now. He's Colonel is so mad right around. now. Colonel's like, he's, he's, he's crazy, salty man. as shit. Hey, you're stoned as fuck. Colonel's salty as shit right now. I love it. I love it. All right, next game up here, Knocker. We've got three games left, and then we'll get into some college football real quick before we head out. Uh, we've got the Seahawks one and one on the road against the Vikings here. Oh, and two Vikings lose again because their kicker blows wow. it. It's either their kicker or cousins. One of the two blows the game. Uh, Seahawks on the road here. Knocker um, always a little bit of a different team coming off that bad loss against the Titans. Do the uh, Seahawks bounce back and get this win or do the Vikings get out the schneid and get their first win? What do you got? Seahawks favored by two on the road against the Vikings. I'm I'm taking the points and I'm going with the Vikings, man. It's it's tough. Just the odds will tell you if you're a decent football team, 
the odds of you going 0-3 are pretty astronomical. And just based on that, and the game is in Minnesota, I, I'm I'm going to... I'm gonna go with the with the Vikings. The Vikings a, get their first win of the season. Like, I'm gonna All take right. those points and go for it. Yeah. I bet, Anders. What do you got? It's a tough one. I mean, yeah, I, I Seahawks are definitely favored. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm thinking I'm gonna go Vikings. I think they Dang. might pull one out, especially being at home in Minnesota. I yeah. think they might pull one out. I think. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't like Pete Carroll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, time out. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hang on. What do you mean you don't like Pete Carroll? What's wrong with uh, Pete Carroll? Oh, I don't like Pete Carroll. I just oh, he does oh, is I can win. What do you mean you don't like Pete Carroll? <laughs> you know, helps helps people cheat. You know, oh. and, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh, time, I got again. What are you talking about? Help <laughs> people cheat. I gotta go Vikings. All right, go Vikings. Knocker, we'll have your college football coming up. Hold your mouth. Hold your, hold your thought. Yeah, we got college. We, yeah, we, we got we college football. Talk hold college. your thought. Hey, yeah, we can your... make fun of Alabama together. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what are you going Vikings oh, or Seahawks? Salty Dog is not happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> no more I'm subs for Anders. <laughs> I'm going Vikings. Going Vikings. I think right. Cousins is going to have a good team, a good uh, team, a good game. Colonel, I love you. No more subs for Anders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I'm actually going to be the. <laughs> Not grass and moved his face since the Pete Carroll comment. I'm going to go. Frozen. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. He blinked. Oh, He's no, like, hey. Okay. <laughs> <Anders. It blinks. laughs> oh. I'm going to go with the Seahawks here instead. Of, I'm going to go with the Seahawks in the road. I think they're a better team. Not a believer in the Vikings. They blow it for you every single year. And I got to go with the Seahawks in a very close game here. Uh, 24-23 over the Vikings. They get it done late in the fourth quarter here. <laughs> We're going to go to the Sunday night football game here. It's going to be a fantastic game. Packers 1-1 one one on the road against the Niners 2-0. Niners favored by 3.5. 2-0. Niners are looking good here. Packers bounce back against the Lions last week. Knocker, if you're able to speak, Packers versus Lions. What do you got? I mean, Packers <laughs> 49ers. What do you got here? <laughs> You got 49ers? Okay. Knocker's going 49ers. Hey, I'll say I'll say uh Josh primed me saying you got you got you were a USC fan, so you know. He primed me. Uh and there's like to give us some analysis. What did you pick? Um, I gotta go 49ers. I think uh Aaron Rodgers might have had a good game last week, but uh being at home in San Francisco or San Jose, yeah, uh, I I think uh, they're just uh, the stronger team. I think Niners, Niners are going to get done. Yeah, Niners go three and zero. All right, what do you got, uh, Tony? Niners. Packers. I got I got Packers. I got Packers. I think Rogers is going to have another game. He's going to show up as usual and uh, take it. I like it. Packers, okay. Niners here. Shit, god damn it. You guys, know I love Aaron Rodgers. God, I want to take him so bad in this game. Oh my god. 49ers at home. Can they go 3 0? <sighs> Tony, I'm going to hop on the pack. Oh, no, I can't do it. Hop on me, baby. Hop <laughs> no, on me. I can't do it. I can't do it. God. It's one click away, baby. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm. Uh... I'm going to go with the Packers. Upset. Packers on the road. Gets yes. the Niners. I'm going to go with Tony. Packers, baby. Going Packers. Upset. I'm going to do it. Take down the Niners. It's very hard to go 3 0 in this league. Um, all right, we're going to go Monday night football. <laughs> Monday night football here. Eagles, Cowboys, Nuggets. I got to stop looking at Nuggets. I, I, so. I think I, I broke him. I, I think I broke him. <laughs> oh, wait, should we all just do it? It's, it's just... <laughs> Someone better screenshot that. Someone better screenshot that. I gotta love you all so much. Eagles, Cowboys, Monday Night Football. Cowboys favored by four in this one. I'm taking the Cowboys. I think they cover that spread. F the Eagles. They're trash. Cowboys win this double day. Just we go to two and one. We own that division. Cowboys 30 to 17 over the Eagles. Let's go book it. What do you got, Knocker? How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? Let's go, Cowboys, baby. <laughs> and clipped. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> oh, let's go. Knocker, what do you got? I got, how about them Cowboys? Oh, let's nice. Go. go, Cowboys. What do you got, Enders? We going oh, Cowboys? Yeah. It, like you said, it's the it's the freaking Eagles, so Cowboys. <laughs> 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 They're the worst birds out there. They're even, I think, worse than any Falcons right now, so we, we got to go with Cowboys. Tony, what do you got in this one, man? Going Cowboys? 
I got Cowboys, baby. Let's I'm go. riding it. We're Let's going, go. Baby. I like it. Let's go, Chad. And I was those, still frozen. Oops. Those have been our week <laughs> three picks. Again, for NFL, make sure you lock yours in today. Expression NFL and Chad, set, just set an alarm on your phone for every Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So you make sure you load them in. $25 every single week. The winner this week split uh, between, I have the winners here. Uh, winners this week were Fast XX Jeffrey uh, coming in time with Bowlers, uh, Bowlers 7 picks. So congratulations to those two. We'll put you in the books. We'll put you on the list. And we'll get that out to you at the end of the season. You can rack up multiple week victories as well. Yo, Phoenix, thank you so much for the tier three sub 10 months. I love you. Thank you, girl. Appreciate it. Thank you. Freaking amazing. Phoenix thank you so much. Um, Welcome to the all right. Those have been our picks. If you guys Finney missed any of the audio um, or want to go back and listen to it, it'll be up on iTunes and iHeartRadio tomorrow about noon. Johnny Ice usually gets it up there about late afternoon time. So you can go back and listen to the audio. If you miss any picks, it'll also be up on our YouTube channel and here right here on the VODs on Twitch. So... Again, thank you so much, Phoenix, for the uh, Tier 3. It's absolutely amazing support for 10 months. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you in November. Um, Knocker, all right, college football, buddy. It is all yours. Big weekend in college football. Uh, we had some good games last week. What do you got on the slate this week? Some really good games. Really good games last week. I don't know how Vegas does this. The over-under line on the Florida-Alabama game was 60. Final score, 31-29. I don't know how they do this yeah Ow. thank you sarita Ow. Um, that's insane you know alabama comes out on top again uh you know going to the swamp so i gotta give them credit for that one man they played a tough opponent uh, on the road but you had the week off before florida didn't you did you played mercer i'm never letting that go professor you played fucking mercer okay and who do you have this week well let's look at the schedule huh. uh let me see number one alabama's playing um Georgia Southern? Southern Miss. Oh, Southern Mississippi. Ooh. Ooh. So such, a, a game, such a hard game. After a big game, you get another week to recuperate before you actually play a real team. Way to go, Bama. Woo! Um, <laughs> Michigan dropping 63 on Northern Illinois. Michigan coming out of the gate 3 0. They look really strong. Actually, the Wolverines look really good. Um, let's see, who else did we have here? Uh, Arkansas surprising arkansas man they dropped 45 on georgia southern but arkansas with a big win over texas uh doing some damage uh, actually they're they're probably in one of the games of the week um this week they're playing uh at home against number seven texas a and m arkansas gets 5.5 points a and m um tough first week they uh scored a lot of points this last week but i kind of like arkansas on those those five and a half points um so uh, i'll post my picks again on thursday morning um oregon now i have to you know if i'm going to shit on alabama i have to shit on oregon they played stony brook <laughs> stony brook okay is that like one of those is, is that like one of those schools that you go to when you're bad and you're like when you're a kid I, I like secondary so. schools like foreign school like something <laughs> like that i'm surprised uh, stony brook got a got a touchdown on them. <laughs> no shit right right it probably was a fumble recovery or something stupid like that penn state in the game of the week last week holds off a strong Auburn team at home 28 to 20 Penn State making some noise uh, again the Fresno State upset uh, of UCLA your top 10 right now are Alabama Georgia Oregon moves up one Oklahoma moves down one even though they beat Nebraska Iowa stays at number five Penn State jumps up four spots with that win over Auburn A&M at seven Cincinnati at eight Cincinnati with a strong comeback uh, last week that was a tough game they were playing but they uh, they put the hammer down in the second half that, that was good to see for me because I had Cincinnati um, <laughs> I went three and two on my picks I'm nine and six on the season Clemson drops three spots with a squeaker last week and um, Ohio State drops down to number 10 so you got some uh, nice games coming up this week Rutgers Rutgers yes I said Rutgers is three and oh what Rutgers is three and I thought they just Rutgers. read books in in the uh exactly uh oh dog <laughs> enjoy the three and oh because you're gonna get your ass hammered this week they go into the freaking big house and michigan is favored by 20. i take all 20. Of sarita those says points. real quick if you talk shit about the longhorns again she's unmodding so just be careful about talking shit about texas so. your courts is sarkeesian <laughs> enough said <laughs> <laughs> kansas state oklahoma state number 25 kansas state goes to oklahoma state uh, Oklahoma State is favored by six points. I really love that Kansas State defense. I really like the Kansas State defense. I might take those points and see what happens. Uh, you get Southern Mississippi against Alabama. It's a four 
35 point spread. <laughs> Thank you, Alabama. You just, just, just hold on to that number one playing these ruffian teams. You're going to be number one next week. <laughs> yeah, you think? You think? You know, I can't say much more for OSU. Uh, Ohio State, they're looking really shaky. Ohio State's looking really shaky. This might actually be the year. Anders, what, what is your school? Like, what, what, where, where do you lie? Like, as far uh, as Minocris I, talking, I, Pac-12 and stuff, Iowa where State. do you lie? Iowa State Cyclones, Oh, yeah, Cyclones. Cyclones. Okay, okay. So that's where you lie. Okay, go ahead, Knock. No problem. Texas Tech goes to Texas. D jump on the over. Just, just, just jump on the over. Neither team has much defense. Uh, I really like this game. Boise State at Utah State. Utah State gets nine points. I think Bo Boise uh, wins this. Um, actually, I think Boise covers that. Louisville at Florida State. Florida State is um, getting two points. Louisville with a nice win, Al although it was, you know, I just can't believe the tip pass at the end of the game with UCF that goes for a touchdown. There was 16 seconds left. Just just go to overtime. Did you learn your lesson, UCF? Go to effing overtime. Stop it. Um, Buffalo at Old, Old Dominion. Buffalo, you say? Why am I talking about Buffalo? Buffalo might be 0-2, but they might be the best 0-2 team in the NCAA. They go to Old Dominion. They're giving up 13. Look for Buffalo to score about 50 points. I look at this game about 50 to 24 right now. Kentucky at South Carolina in the SEC. Kentucky off the 3-0. Quietest 3-0 start for anybody in the NCAA. They go to South Carolina that just got their ass handed to them this last week by George, I believe. Um, Carolina is getting five points. Be all over Kentucky on this one. Oregon State. Now, USC. <laughs> USC, this just keeps happening. JT Daniels goes down his rookie season. Uh, uh, um, his rookie season, Keaton Slovis comes in and sets the world on fire. New coach for USC. They go up to their house of horrors every year. They go up to Washington State or Oregon State. Something bad real happens every time. USC goes up there. Keaton Slovis goes out in the first quarter. So who comes in? Jackson Dart. That's right, Jackson Dart out of Utah. All Jackson Dart did as a senior year in Utah, 69 touchdown passes. That's right. I said 69 touchdown passes and 12 running. Let that soak in for just a little bit. Shaky start, interception, then proceeds to throw five touchdown passes. USC starts 40, 45 straight. I love USC to cover the 12 points against Oregon State at home. They played for the first time in four years. You can tell I'm a USC fan. They played for the first time in four years with passion without playing stupid, doing smart things, and they played a full 60 minutes, which they, have, which they haven't done under Clay Helton for the last two and a half years. Look for USC to cover that. Look for them to drop a big 45 um, on the board this week. Iowa State goes to Baylor. That's, that's Ender's team right there. Yeah, right? baby. That's why I mentioned it. Iowa State is giving up seven points to Baylor. This is a really tough one to pick. It really is. Iowa State has a good defense, but Baylor scores a lot of points. Um, Iowa State's quarterback, I think he got benched like week two for the first yeah. time in his career. So there's some shaky things going on with Iowa State. Nice bounce back win this last week uh, after the loss to Iowa. But going down into Texas, into Waco, in the, in just the heat and just a weird place to play. Um, I'm sorry to say that, that just sitting here right now, I, I kind of like Baylor with those seven points. I might actually look at the over um, and see what that is. Clemson, who you hate goes to NC State. NC State's always a really rough place for Clemson to play. Clemson's not the same team they have been for the last five years. NC State gets 10 points. I, I, I kind of like, I kind of like those 10 points. I really do. And the last game of the week I'm going to talk about, even though I cannot stick this team. I hate you. I hate you, Notre Dame. I hate you. You <laughs> at me every time. Whether I'm at for or against you, you at me every time. Oh, they're going into Wisconsin. They go into Wisconsin. Wisconsin's getting six points. I like Wisconsin in the six points. I like it's very tough to Notre win Dame's gonna Randall. blow out Wisconsin. It's very difficult. No, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm saying this right yeah, now. Exactly. Be, well, oh, yeah, exactly. Notre Dame. Oh, but yeah. I actually like Wisconsin uh, and the six points at home. So I like there it. you go. All and right. That is your college football report. I like it. I like it. If we get Knocker, we'll put up his five locks of the week in our Discord, in our uh, Gambles Corner, in our picks. I will have my NFL picks up as well later in the week. Um, again, it's been an amazing, amazing show today. Uh, a one for the books. Enders, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been long overdue, man. I'm just I'm glad we finally got to get this done. 
and yeah, uh, we'll have <laughs> yeah we're gonna have you on again before the end of the year and i know we got a meetup plan we'll get a meetup plan between me and you as well going on we're, we we're gotta gonna, get we're gonna try and uh, yeah. stream stream the tattoo yes we, yes, if, yes, if, yes, oh, yes 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 yeah he's love, got love he's you, gonna have to hold dog. my hand love you colonel love you colonel <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold my hand while i do it uh again uh what, when is the next msl uh, msl race coming up uh, so this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, it is the MSLA 300. It's the season three finale. Ooh, um, so nice. at the end of this race, we are crowning a season champion, nice. team champions. Um, obviously, we'll be talking a lot more about season four, which will be starting on October 9th. It's the Marble 500. Every season opener, we do 500 laps at the paperclip. Takes a while, but it's fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this Saturday season finale. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I, I, I I mean I I I'm hoping I want to hit 700. So what is again. the number? Have, what's the highest you know, you've had? What's the what do we have to top like this? 727 Saturday? was. The wow. 727 yeah. chat. We get 750 this weekend. Let's go, chat. We gotta get Let's everyone over there. Drop it, 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 in it, chat. It's, it's as been well. blowing my mind. It's, it's awesome, been blowing man. my mind. So and, it, and it's all you guys. And you've, you, and you've also inspired us to you know other streamers to do other stuff. You know, I wanted to try a little football thing that I'm doing over here just to get things going and. And mm -hmm. you really inspire people to just come up with ideas and just go for it. Try it. If it yeah. fails, Put, okay. Push you it. know? Yeah. Push it. Just push Don't... it. If you believe in something, you know? Exactly. Social media, use it. Abuse mm -hmm. it. You know, there's never such thing as too much tweeting. Yeah. You know, it just uh, obviously I have done it on the pixel side where I tweet the wrong image and then I just redo <laughs> it. It's not the yeah, how, many, it's how, many, how many times did Marble Fest <laughs> image come out this? How many times did Marble yeah. Fest <laughs> image come out? Four times before I don't even we know if I'm, I'm in it anymore. It's been so many times. Yeah, we we've changed it a couple times because I it got it was the more beef. No, oh, yeah, you guys, terror is to human, but just stick <laughs> with it, keep yeah. pushing it. You're right. You have a bad if you have a bad week. Yep. Step back, go to the drawing board, mm -hmm. add something to yep. it. You know, that's one thing I've learned, and you, it's this community though has helped teach me. It you is. know, so yep. and it mm -hmm. just being a part of this community yeah. this game watching you you know you guys grow tony you're killing it josh you know you guys getting partner yeah it, it was it was breathtaking yeah you know it's and fun to Tony's see man next. yeah and, tony tony and know, Bax cast baby go, next two tony and Bax, maybe yeah so hell yeah yeah they both tony, deserve I will it man say one thing take partner push out of the title take it out take it out of the title it's right. like that it's like i always tell people as an affiliate or going for affiliate ignore that viewer count ignore it yeah it, it changes your attitude oh, it's been driving me it crazy fucks with lately. your head get, man yeah. get yeah. rid of it tony get rid of it and just be just do you. you yep just do be you you yeah, that, yeah. you're you're beneath me here right you're under my yeah he's under here <laughs> just be you and continue to kick ass yep. josh you know yep. bud you guys are kicking ass yep. just keep doing it and keep supporting we each all other grow together yeah, exactly you know we all support each other yep, this yep, yep. community is, I've, never, I've never seen a community care about others this much i agree gifted with you. subs the amount of nuts. gifted subs this community it's crazy. gets it's crazy it's insane it's nuts man i've been in other communities and i don't see this much i yeah. my buddy is one of the top 100 streamers on twitch mm -hmm. his name's maximilian dude he doesn't get that many gifted subs you yeah. know it's just it's this community it is and i will i will be here through thick and thin I'm full time now with this game and this mm -hmm. community. You know that's why you know Pixel has kept me around. It's the passion, the heart. You know we all have it. We all want it to succeed. Yep. And use it as a step stool to help get yeah, and use grow. it for something positive. Like, yep. You know. Mm -hmm. And the, the, there's my now I'll step off my butt. So no, nah, it's you know. good, man. No, it's good good words, man. Anders, good man. It's that's all it's, true, though. Yeah, it's all true, I though, man. I agree with you more. Yeah, it's you all know? true. We yeah, all get just rid of partner push. We're Take all... it out of your title. Tony. We're all here to support. <laughs> we're all here supporting each other. We're all here supporting each other and each other's streamers. We're all, again, we're all doing this for the right reasons, the right purpose, right positivity. And a lot of us are doing this for a living. So remember that we're all putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that go into it. So I thank everybody that's involved from the Marvels community, the dev team, my mods, Ender's mods, Tony's mods, everybody from my dad been doing this for me 13 years and everybody that's involved in our families allowing us to do this as well. So um, until next time, everybody, Knocker will be back. We're going to just go on a break. The stream will cut out for like two seconds while Knocker flips it over to Knocker's stream. So, again, make sure you check out Ender's MSLA on Saturday. Again, Tony's on every freaking day. 
Uh, number one marble streamer, five seasons in a row. The Tom Brady of fucking marbles, baby. Get all those rings. I will see. <laughs> I will see you guys all on Friday for happy hour. Knock will be here tonight and Wednesday. We're off this Thursday yep. as they celebrate the anniversary, and I will see you all on Friday with cold dabs for Marble Drops and Marble Girl. Thank you so much, yeah, everybody. Enders. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Love you all. Um, we'll talk to you all real soon. Enders, thank you again for coming on, man. I appreciate it. We'll thank see you guys real guys. soon. Thank you, Tony. I love you, brother. See you guys. See love you, you guys, too. Good time.